lagi Cukula kalau dapat ke teori Burung kaya kapak pundi The future in your pocket and you don't know why But it is there in your pocket mm-hmm. Ridge Wallet Ridge Wallet mm-hmm. is, um, I can't say it enough. It probably is the backbone of my of my life. Damn. And that's a really bold statement. And I don't even really know what really it means. <laughs> but what I do know is, is that um, I was, I bought a money clip from 7-Eleven many, many years ago. Yeah. And it got all fucked up. And so I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do wallets. But then we discovered this wallet, the Ridge Wallet. Uh-huh. And this is the thing I use right here. See, this is my Ridge wallet. You know, oh. I got a five in there. There's a couple hundreds in there too. Woo! Look deeply. Yeah. And um, your credit cards fit so perfectly. It has RFID protection. It comes in different materials, right? Mm-hmm. Um, carbon. That's the carbon fiber right there. Carbon fiber, right? Isn't carbon oxygen? I think so. So, so if you, you, this works in space. <laughs> you're holding an element right This now. right here, guys. Works in space. It's carbon. You can breathe with this. Go to Mars. Go to Mars. Okay. It, tell them about the Ridge. Guys, get 10% off your space wallet today with free worldwide shipping by going to ridge.com slash slept. That's ridge.com slash slept. And use the code SLEP. S-L-E-P-T. Link in your description. Enjoy the show. The rules oh before. God. Oh, this, God. Oh. Dude, should we just even push this? I, I mean, because... really? Should we just do a different date? <laughs> pinto, pinto. <laughs> different. This oh, God. Different. Yeah. I'm going to, I start and then don't say anything until I, I say your know. name. No, you don't go. I've listened. All right, all right, okay. all right, all right. You prepared for this? <laughs> We're going to start with our collide because she's taking forever. I'm not waiting for her. So we'll just start without her and then we'll just see what happens. Oh, man. But, I uh, thought this was a Heineken. You know how my where my oh, mind you goes. You fucking Mexicans, man. <laughs> you oh, always want a cold you. I got fucking news for you. You can see it on the online. I'll tell you later. Right. Oh. You don't deserve it right now. Ooh. Is it good oh. news for you? We'll see. Something happened? No, I'll just explain. Don't worry about it. Just remind me. Okay, okay. okay I'll remind you. Because I'll forget. Okay. Um, just let me just give me a second. You got it, Captain. No, because the thing is, is that he comes in, right? Push it on. You on? It's been on, yeah. He comes in and, you know, I'm trying to be cool, you know, about it all, you know. Because mm-hmm. I've always wanted, how many times have I said? You do mention his name like uh, once, once a week. every other podcast. Once a week. And I'll tell you why it, I, I do it. Uh-huh. Because I thought it was love. But when he came up, when I just picked him up, he there greeted. was an anger in my throat. And my side gets hurt because I get so angry. Polyps. Anger polyps. So let's start. Let's start. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. A little soap opera I saw on on some island in the Philippines. <laughs> what was that about? I don't know, but there was like three dragons in it. Maybe the Game of Thrones. Oh, Philippine version. It's Gallic version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's start from the top. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. What? Blast for Apollo 13. We're in trouble. Houston, Houston. Okay. That wasn't... Let's start from the top. Okay. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Go ahead. Cinco, cuatro. Three. Don't be, no, do not do that. That's racism. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to... They're in up. detention centers right now on all, the border. All of them? A lot of them. I saw fucking... Online. A lot? I saw online a <laughs> lot of these ones. Uh, oh, you pointing these to types the, in in these really godforsaken cages. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't sensitive. And w- let me say this to people in America: that's that's not good. <laughs> you got to treat people better, right? Way better than that. Way better. Than Way that. better than that. Welcome to another podcast of the Podcast Kingdom. I am your leader, Bobby Lee. I am the ruler of this kingdom. Thank you. <laughs> We have thin lips, no lips. Oh, there's no lips yeah, today. Yeah, no it's lips. like <laughs> God took a fucking felt head and just did a line across the face, and that's the lips. Oh, man. And then they were like, hey, you forgot the lips on this one. And God goes, nah, <laughs> sent I'm, you down. I'm good. What's wrong with you? You angry? No. Oh, look at the, look at that nose, too. Annabelle. He has Moriarty's nose. <laughs> Don't be a villain, Sherlock bro. Holmes villain. Right there, man. Familiar with that? Not a Sherlock. Don't even talk. 
Don't even talk. Ask me a question. Uh, oh, I have to bring you up first. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to start over. I have to say well, don't look at me and say something and <laughs> then go. That's it. That's you know, it. Shut, shut everything homes. down. Shut, shut it down. Go. Oh yeah, listen. You know what? Right, 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 this is yeah, yeah. This is being crappy since I. All right, no. All right, drove up. Okay, okay. So then we have, I love it, and then that. Okay, and Kalila's coming. Yeah. So I have to, I have to, um, you know, this because I've wanted this guy on the show for so long, and um, I don't know why you guys were like, you guys were like, no, we need, you know, somebody. I, I but this is the guy. So um, years ago, when I started doing stand-up comedy, um, you know, you he has a doorman in La Jolla. You know, you, you ask, you know, who are the, this is in the 90s, who's okay. the hottest guy or who are the people to know, young, coming up in the business or whatever, whatnot. <laughs> and they would say, um, Freddie Soto, because, you know, it was the comedy store back in the day. And then they would say some other, uh, this other name. And the other name, I didn't know human beings <laughs> look like a combination of three things. <laughs> I didn't know that God could take a bean, right? <laughs> Jesus. Just let hear me out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Take a bean, mix it with a raccoon for the eye part, and then and then God goes for th- oh, I'm gonna put a little tint, right? A little special thing, right? His face is gonna look like a brown cricket. So imagine three things pinto, cricket, raccoon, combo. <laughs> Throw it down, but then God goes. I want to make him. He can tell jokes too. Oh, right. So okay. he threw him down the earth, and he threw him in a very particular place, farmland in oh. Visalia, that area. Okay, correct, right? Uh, <laughs> so, right. So anyway, I'm, I'm about to bring you up. So he's had specials on television. He's done a lot of television spots as a, as a stand up, and literally, like when I came up here, he was the hottest guy in L.A. at the time at the Comedy Store, especially. He was the number one. I remember going by the OR as, when I first moved up there and being a doorman and watching this guy on stage going, one day they'll give me spots here and I will perform on a regular basis. Then later on, he was on Mad TV, but my the one I was on, mm-hmm. right? And well, let's get into that story later. But um, how about a deep round of applause for um, just this fucking ugly but cute. <laughs> Scott. Ugly cute. Ugly you know, cute, yeah. Of a guy. How about... No, just don't you, say Johnny you, Sanchez. Give him a round of applause. I can't stay right, quiet. Go, go, ahead, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Was that hard? Go that ahead. Is, that is like so frustrating and mad. Why? Here you go. And I've got to sit here and can't say. And you know the reason why you do that. Why? Is because oh. everybody will interject and just like pounce on you off half that crap yeah. that you come up with. Yeah, yeah. First of all, as their leader here, as the, yes. the, le- the podcast leader you said earlier, mm-hmm. do you spell that with two E's? What do you mean? L E E D E R. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How did you? Know that? Yeah. How, did you, oh, don't do How come you got? A, oh, you're doing you impressions now. Oh, God. Why you're doing impressions did you, now? Oh, wait, did everybody hear that he went? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did, did do that. Um. First of all, yeah. Thank you for finally having me. I'm gonna thank you guys. I'm gonna take the other three bros here. Yeah. Because and I wrote this down. Oh, what'd I wanted to, I wanted to be able, what'd you write down? I had to write this down when he was like. Uh, haven't I told you guys? I mean, try, <laughs> how long have we been trying to get him? <laughs> so, oh yeah, your impression of me—that's so is good. Spot on. Oh, you don't think you ever sound like that? Yeah, I don't sound like that. No, like what, right, what not right, now. <laughs> right now. Right now. What about? What about? Oh, what right there? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, right. This dude. <laughs> This dude has just, kept me. Stop, wait, wait. First of all, just close your eyes for a second. Oh. You were so creepy when Bobby looked. Yeah, like yeah. You have a real fucked up vibe right now. No, it's better. Hey, he what? got he got a way better description of himself than I did. So he should he should feel good right now. Wow. All he got was thin lips, and what was it he said? Moriarty, Moriarty knows. knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I got. First of all, I, I love. How, do you always say raccoon? Raccoon. Have you always said raccoon? I, I thought it was I, raccoon. I, no, I say it the way it's spelled. It's spelled with an A, but which A is it? Do we know? Ra. It is raccoon? Whatever. What do you guys say? What do you say? Raccoon. Raccoon, raccoon in this room. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, hey, you Johnny, it's, yeah. it's raccoon. Yeah, exactly. You think you could change the, the game in this? He almost oh. got me, though. Oh. He almost got me to turn on you. Oh, and if, I, I would, see. Did not, I would okay. not. You want him docked and pay? 
Don't do uh, this to me, Jockey. Yeah, Johnny, you want oh. me to him on page? Please, Listen, it's right? Raccoon, please. Oh, it sounds so weird. <laughs> I know. Even when you were saying it, I was like, is he adding on a Latin? Are you trying to yeah. Latin it up or raccoon. something? Raccoon. Raccoon. Let me ask you this. When and you, when you look in the eyes of the <laughs> When you look in the mirror, then this is what I'm gathering. You see handsome. No. What oh, do you shit, see? I've never seen that. What do you see? What do you see? When I was young, yeah. not so bad. Not, when I was in my high school days, and I was uh, odd looking, as young in grammar, and went through a good little transition, high school to right about 28, 29, 30. Mm. And then this got darker. <laughs> you know, your nose doesn't stop growing. <laughs> like extra... <laughs> but, we, yeah. but Bobby used to <laughs> raccoon. Um, it's funny because Felipe used to Felipe Sparza back in the day when we were sort of doing open mics and all that. Yeah. And I'd walk in, he'd always go, "Hey, what's up, raccoon?" <laughs> <laughs> what's up, raccoon? So what's up, oh, really? Yeah, he used yeah. to call me raccoon. But you, Bobby, was the one who started calling me cricket at That's the right. table reads of oh. Mad TV. I had just started. <laughs> This is such a jerk that this guy was. And by the way, a dude that got picked on for what five seasons before right. you were really like oh, wow. they gave you respect. Right. That's why when I ran into uh what's the big the big dude that uh Sasso. Will Sasso. Will Sasso. Sasso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he saw that first video, by the way, let me let me ease back into this Go because ahead. I have not been to this hit this place, his place, since the very first time I ever came here was our very first episode of Rice and Beans. Right. We were going to go on the road. Yeah. And they, Whoa. and they, here's what's weird. I just feel like I went back in a time capsule because they're like, here, John, we're, you're going to drive up. You're going to go upstairs and knock on the door. Bobby's going to open the door. You get, we're going to, this is like six in the morning. Remember right, we were right, catching right. a flight at five or six in the morning. Yeah. So I come up, I knock on the door and then he doesn't answer. Now I don't know anything yet. I'm not. I haven't been on a TV show like this, mm -hmm. so I didn't realize that he was already six, seven seasons deep at this point. Mm -hmm. So this guy's kind of like in here doing whatever the fuck he wants, yep. right? Causing havoc, yeah. just, just talking down to everybody. So I'm not aware of this, right? <laughs> so I'm knocking, and then I'm looking, and the and the the director is like, well, just, so then, you know, so I do it again. He has a name. And then he has a name. It was, it was Bruce, Bruce Letty. Letty. But okay, well, you want me? Yes, shout out to Bruce, by the way. I love so, him. All right. So don't just. Oh, I do whisper outs, by the way. Okay. Uh, whisper oh, you out. do? Whisper out. Do a whisper out. Whisper out, Bruce Letty. <laughs> Very good. I like that. Whisper Can we steal that here? I'm doing it on our podcast. Oh, really? But, you know, oh, probably. Me. As long as you excuse go like this. me. How about if you do this? You can go uh, whisper out so and so. Uh, credit Johnny Sanchez. If you do that, yes. Mm. Did Carlos did that for you when he stole your jokes? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> dude, I don't fucking steal. Oh. I borrow without fucking asking. Oh. Anyway, so I knock on the Ned, door. I'm sorry, Ned. Just let, I, because I think if he listens to it, it's gonna break his heart a little. No, bit. he knows where. I love you. We oh, love you. We're just we're, we're just razzing. Around. All right, we love you so fucking much. He's not much. gonna get that all started. He won't get all weird. I know, but he's he. He's done some stuff to you. All right. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember when? We... Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I Can I know, say it? I already know what you're Can talking. Can I say about. it? Funny is funny. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Funny is funny. Yeah. Wait, I didn't finish the the. Just note it down. All right. Yeah, just note it down. This is how this thing oh, works. We, I know, we go from I one forget, to another. I forget. A lot, I know you man. do. I jump I all over the. Place. I know it's great. It's because you know, growing up in the, on the farmland, you probably had like fertilizer poisoning or something. You know. Well, I did grow up in that area. I know you did. But I got some news for you about all that. Okay, all right. You're going to have fine. to change your jokes about me, by the way. Oh. Oh. He's not. Whoa. I think I'll save that for a little later. Say it later. Yeah. Let me just rip, 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 and then save it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. So what were, what, what, I was. What, what, I lost my train of thought. thought uh, so. Carlos. Oh, yeah, so funny is funny. So right. What did he do? So <laughs> we were given our... Uh, they, this is crazy. We give our sets. Yeah. Okay. We give our sets, and so everybody. So knew, when you're when you're okay, so yeah. everyone listening, everybody knows everybody's material. Yeah, but right. when you're listening, when you do a TV show, mm -hmm. Correct. like the Tonight Show, whatever it might be, they want to know. right for months and months. You have they, you write down your set word for word. Oh, because it has to be, you know, you know the the network has to approve. Okay, correct. So um, we all know everyone's bits. 
It's also on teleprompter, which why would a comic forget? But they'd still put it on a teleprompter. Yeah, bullet points. So put your bullet points. Right. Like each topic, like yeah. you know, um, like you know, his would be like pulling pants down, uh, yeah. grinding things like that. Uh, mine would be like in depth, but his would just be that's what you basically have: uh, screams, uh, screams again. <laughs> And then, wow! All right, hump stool. You listen, don't kick like a man when he's down. All right, hump stool. Don't, <laughs> don't kick a man when he's down. Down. Okay. By the way, I'll never forget Pablo Francisco. What? I don't know how much how much room do I have on this. I remember years ago, Pablo goes. He would be on stage, and anytime he, there was like a weird moment in his set, yeah, he would. I would notice he would always he would always go. I can take the fo- I can take the headphones off. He would always go like this. He'd always go. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. And then the audience would start cracking up or whatever. And then and then later on, you know, we'd be working. I go, hey, that's funny. He's all, he goes, he's like, yeah, buddy. Whenever I hit a weird thing, he goes, everybody loves humping. Wow. Because this works every time. Quack, quack, <laughs> ping pong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Quackity smack. You know what I mean? This is why we have them on. Learn. Take notes. Take notes. Different yeah. Thing. Just hump uh, the stool or just hump the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up and coming comics. <laughs> So you were so doing, we're, you're doing funny. Fu- we're all doing funny. It's, funny. it's a TV show on Telemundo. CTV. Oh. CTV. CTV. My bad. Had My just bad. Started. Yep. My bad. Yep. CTV. Right. Not C, but yes, S I. Right? I see. C- I like C- that. CTV. S I. CTV. Right. So and Carlos is hosting now. I want to say. <laughs> I can't believe you want to you want to talk. About- <laughs> Is this an insane we story? We might cut it out. I don't know. I mean, if I feel oh, uncomfortable. But we okay. can cut some of the stuff out. Oh, I so. didn't know that. Okay. Let's just, we just talk freely, and then if you don't like something. Yeah. There's my girlfriend, Kalila. Oh, okay. Kalila. Hi, Johnny. Hey. Say hi to Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Hi. Come on, old you? man. Oh. He just ran hey, in here, didn't dude. he? dude. Oh. Oh. That's what you, rare. What do you do? How are you? What is that? What do you do? He, he, I put my hand down, and then he went and just turned yeah, around. Yeah, I know, because he gets it. Yeah, he from gets, you he gets, gets it, it from you. <laughs> That's how that should have ended. He works for ICE. So <laughs> keep it coming, keep it coming. There's a keep reveal. Coming. There's a reveal coming. Okay, so so everybody, you know, they get all of our material. Sure. Yeah. Not only the bullet points, but they know exactly what you're talking about for that seven minute set. Yeah. About, so everybody's doing like seven. Yeah. And um, there's a little backstory. Can I tell a little backstory though? I think it helps. Oh, am I missing something? Yeah, missing I'm that? missing. You're missing, but something that maybe I okay. perceive, okay, right, that you haven't perceived. Um, is is that for years, he Ned had um asked you to open for him, correct? And every time you say oh. absolutely no, correct? Right? Oh, and I yeah. think all the years of you saying no, it hit him a little bit because you know I did it, Brad Williams, Freddie did it, Joe Coy, yeah, Delia. I mean, we've all done. I've done it the most. But we still did things. You said no every time. Every time. Right. But I actually said it early on when before any of of, of any type of reputation of right. his became. It was something when I used to watch him. Um, and maybe I was just not thinking right because I was young and I was. But I was like, that's his path is this way and my path is this way. And I felt like his. His guys for like you and Joe Coy and even Freddie a little bit. Freddie was definitely on the ethnic side of the Mexican material. Right. Mm. Okay. Right. You and Joe, you guys are and deli- guys like you aren't even in his lane. You guys aren't even in near his lane or anything like that. Right. Anyway, right, right. right. Yeah. Now I'm on the complete opposite end. I felt like his audience. Yeah. Would not even care for my shit. Ah. It was more. Now later on, of course, it was it was more of the reputation and hearing things and hearing the the hell gigs on the and for the guys that are opening for him is what I used to hear later. Mm. But at first, it was just my choice. I just kind of went. I told him that he's like, "Dude, come on the fucking road with me." <laughs> I go, <laughs> go I go, yeah. yeah, I don't. What are you fucking, dude? I'll fucking help you. You know. And I was like, <laughs> and I told him one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, "Dude, I go, uh, I go. I, don't, I just think we got different audiences, man. Like, yeah, I uh-huh. mean, that's not, and not that I'm saying." I just wasn't. It's not I, personal, I, dude. I it's not personal. A, I had, I had the. Uh, what do you? What are the horses? What are those? blinders? Yeah, that had the, I had the blinders on, dude. At that point, yeah, I knew exactly which horse? direction. Like the horse. horse. So how, when they race horses, the, the, the oh, horse race. Blinders. Yeah. Horse, race horse. But when it yeah. comes to it, just say donkey. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> very good. Yeah. Snuck that in. I got in there, right? Yeah, he's pretty good, huh? He's Everyone nice. laugh at it. 
<laughs> I said donkey. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give you anything. I know he didn't, but he's my enemy. Uh, <laughs> he's my enemy for sure. So, so, so in a weird way, Bobby, yeah. I kind of had this vision already, even though in hindsight, you know, other guys like Johnny Zapp were telling me you should go on the road. You're going to get a big, you're going to yeah. get a bigger audience. But I don't even think you went. Don't say long. Johnny Zapp in this maybe this podcast <laughs> for the rest for, for the rest of its existence. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I know, I know. He's There's back. this guy named Johnny Zapp. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, now you're gonna yeah. talk. Well, about I have to now, right? They can and do you so, know Johnny? No, I don't. No, oh, no one knows Johnny Zapp in here. I fucking. He know still him. pops around the store. I know, okay. right? So there's this guy named Johnny Zapp <laughs> who. You know, if you go to a comedy club, any comedy club, I've been all over, right? There's always somebody that's a regular, that's not a stand-up, yeah. but that's been going to this club. And hanging out. for Hanging out for 30 years, oh. right? Oh. That's what Johnny's at been. Mm. So he's this older guy, and in the audience, he used to just, <laughs> because he'd been there for so long, just, I can say whatever I want. Yeah, he would, yeah, yeah. While you're on stage. I see. You yeah. know what I mean? Do the dance. Yeah. Right? And then you're on stage, and you're like, what dance? <laughs> right? And sometimes we wouldn't know it was him. Yeah. Because he'd kind of change his voice a little bit. <laughs> and then go, we go, what? Who wants me to do what? <laughs> and, then, and then we'd hear... <laughs> yeah, a stupid laugh. He would yeah. do the laugh so Fuck. that... And then sometimes Grab he would do the stuff. laugh so that we knew that he approved of our joke or new joke. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He also looks like kind of the human version of Papa Smurf. Oh. Correct. Right, right. With a Brian Johnson hat. <laughs> Yeah, he, wore, he always yeah, wore the Brian, you yeah, know Brian. Yeah. Uh, is that too old of a reference? The lead Brian singer at ACDC. Yeah, who wears that? The Paperboy. The yeah, Paperboy. Oh, we're all Brian yeah. Johnson fans. Man. The Paperboy hat. Yeah. No, no. Uh, uh-uh. uh. I know you love him. It's no, it's Bon Scott first, and then Brian Johnson. Okay. Oh, Do not. We're not doing a poll right now, okay. fucker. <laughs> all right. Now listen. So now cut to we're at funny is funny. Yeah. Oh funny. my god. Yeah. Right it's now. Fact, yeah, we went. It's fine. So fine. I've got it. Right, and and also I want to th- say is this we've we never t- we've never talked negatively about Carlos. The reason why is because I I do love him. And he's done, yeah, you had a great relationship with him. He's done so many good things yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, you know. But also I've been thinking about where to where I can go and where I can't go. Do you think he would ever do this podcast? Or he could would do. You, he could would. You properly one hundred percent. He would ask do him it. all the things you want to ask him. That's why he. I can never have him. Oh. Because if I have him, I wouldn't be able to ask him the questions that I really do want to ask. Because I don't want to hurt him. I feel like he's hurt enough. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to kick a man. You know, when he's... Not that he's down. He's making a living. He's doing stand-up. But we know where he was. John, right? He was big. Yeah, you know what's interesting about that, that? You bring You're that getting up? surreal. What's going on? Yeah, no, because I'm working with these... Uh, there's this guy I know who's kind of working with us somewhat in the other, <clears throat> in our podcast and, and other stuff. And his name got brought up at our podcast. And then uh, this dude's like, he goes, afterwards, he goes, hey, I got to tell you this story, man. Like, he goes, I was always a big fan of Carlos, man. I, you know, I love this shit. And he saw him at a Chipotle or something oh. not long ago. Uh-huh. And about a year ago. <laughs> interesting I know that's place. Go ahead, that's Bobby. A, I, know just, yeah. I know, but just, I don't want to, um, you know. Think about that. It makes me laugh. Go ahead. Okay. Were you going to make, just because he was in a Chipotle, just, no. or the fact that he's half German and Honduran, and he's in a Chipotle, because that's Mexican food. Is that where you're going to go with no, it? No. That specific? No, it's okay. just like if somebody was ta- talking about me, and they said, yeah, we saw him oh, at, at Park's Panda, Barbecue Panda, on, on, yeah. on, on Vermont. Panda and, Express. Uh, Panda that would no, be no, 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 because I'll tell you why not Panic Express. Because you'll never see me at a Panic Express. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'll tell you why I'm not in a Panic Express. He's actually be- there three times a week. I am there. I know, baby. <laughs> well, the reveal happened. He loves Panic Express. I love Panic Express, yeah, but I'm not I Chinese. To tell Ruben I'm not Chinese. <laughs> I'm not Chinese. Yeah. Okay, so let's finish this, uh, the uh, story. So why is that okay? So that's okay, that's okay <laughs> that you go in the Panda Express? Why? For, forget it, let's Chipotle. But isn't, doesn't every, pl- wait a minute, real quick. He ran into a minute Chipotle, just go there. I won't forget. I right. will not forget. Right at your list, you have a long list now. Hold on, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not forget. Okay. This is the first time I guess I had notes. No, I gotta hold on, I gotta <laughs> yeah. do this, I won't, I won't remember anything. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait a minute. I had this discussion with Ruben Paul, and he's like, I don't even know how you ever <laughs> step into a Panda Express. I go, Panda Express, we have Taco Bells, Del Tacos, Mm-hmm. 
Chipotle is, we got all these places. Why can't there be Asian places that, I mean, I've never gone into a Yoshinoya. I don't even know what they sell there. <laughs> Mystery but is, meat. What is it? Mystery, Mystery meat. Mystery meat. They have this thing where it's like curled beef over rice. Oof. I used to eat it when I was drunk a lot because it was so cheap. Yeah. And they're everywhere. It's they're like, ever, but I never see, I don't know if I see people really see, they're like, Yoshinoya is, is it, what is that? The ja, is that Japanese? Japanese. Yeah. It's like the Japanese yeah. Arby's, yeah. right? Right. <laughs> They're always oh guys, there. Right. But That's really perfect. Yeah. In there. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, whenever you drive by, yeah, I never see anyone in there. No either. one. Yeah. I don't see, Except but they're me. open all the time. All the time. I never, yeah, yeah. I have never seen a Yoshinoya going out of business. And it's also because they're always open late. <laughs> So That's a lot what of it people is. just, like, yeah. you know. Okay, speaking of meat, don't worry, I'm I'm on track. Okay. Funny stuff. <laughs> speaking of meat. Yeah. Okay, I never realized, I never thought about this. Okay, but don't look at my girlfriend and say, speaking of me. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't That's ever do that. Time you looked at don't, ever, like, don't ever fucking do that again. <laughs> he went, no, I was speaking, looking at right. His voice dropped. That like, was the most right. shit you do, man. Yeah, I didn't even realize how creepy that came from. Yeah. Speaking, speaking of me. You went like, speaking of me, and, right? <laughs> don't worry about it, baby. You know, All right. Go ahead. So, so I met this dude, I did a show, and after the show, this guy used to work at Taco Bell. I never really thought about this, yeah. but he goes, "Hey man, you know that that the, the meat, the beef, right?" <laughs> and I go, "Yeah, what about it?" He's like, "You know, you know, you know what it is, right?" Yeah. And I go, "I have no idea." Yeah. He goes, "Okay, so they got you know those heating pans, like aluminum yeah. heating pan." Okay. Okay. He goes, uh, "What they do is a it's a package of white powder, <laughs> yeah. and they pour it into the water, and they start stirring it, and it becomes the meat." That's so a synthetic meat. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Really? Did you know this? No, I didn't know that. So then I go, I kept going, you're blowing my mind. There's no way. He goes, hey, have you ever smelled cooked meat in there? Have you ever had a burnt taco where the meat's overcooked? Or oh, it's right. I go, oh, shit. No, he's all, that's what, that's what, and this was about five years ago. I don't know if they've changed. So, so it's, just let me get you, get, get us straight. Taco it's a, like Bell. A, it's a synthetic. Yeah. If you go up to the, like in in the kitchen, there's probably like a bucket, right? A barrel full of this white powder. Oh god. It's a powder, it's right? It's just water and the powder, and it becomes it that... becomes meat, that brown stuff. Correct. Wow. That's what I said. I'll take. Care. Wow. I'm gonna go take care of the dogs. Okay, go take care of the dogs, babe. Okay. Stop for a second, because I, I I like because I love every, I don't want to ruin the flow of anything. Sorry to interrupt, but we have an amazing sponsor. Postmates, I love it. It's deep in my heart. Postmates, you know how to do it. Good. You <clears throat> deliver it yeah. to me. Mm. I wrote that just now, and that's called talent, guys. Um, <laughs> You guys, Postmates is my right-hand man, so it's Kalila. I mean, no, Kalila uses Postmates. She's not my right-hand man. Anyway, Postmates <laughs> is great. But anyway, um, Postmates, on the left is, side. Postmates is a... Is a product, not a product, but a um, app. app. It is a product as well. Yeah, um, all of it of society. And the thing is, is that it what it's it. I use it so much that it'd be. I have to sell this fucking thing because it is something that's been so convenient in my life. Mm -hmm. You, it, they, they deliver quickly. Mm -hmm. Tell us how it works. What you do is you go. Let's say you're hungry, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're super hungry, right? And also, you know, the lights go out. Mm. in your hot place you need a light bulb you can go to Postmates and go I want to go to Jersey Mike's and also stop by Target and get me some light bulbs <laughs> to get Mike's it delivered to, to you to deliver it at your house yeah it's that is exactly what it is tell me about it Bobby for a little bit of time yes, Postmates Gilbert. is giving our listeners $100 oh fuck a free delivery credit for your first 7 days so to start your free deliveries download the app and use the code BELLY that's the code BELLY for $100 of free delivery credit for your first 7 days when you down download the Postmates app anything you need anytime you need it Postmate download Postmates and save with the code BELLY hey we have another ad guys him's not for hers <laughs> him's not, not for hers, hers. Hims is a website that I wish I had as a young man. As a young man, I was kind of a Ronin. Okay. If you don't know what Ronin is, he's a um, a samurai without a master. Mm. But I had no money to. And I used to have problems with my head. And I'm a samurai, but my head, um, I needed, I had some, I was balding. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. And then also my dick don't work. Oh, man. Yeah. And I didn't have um, the proper money 
or the ability to to, t- to talk to any uh, professionals. Yeah. But Hims right is a website where if you have these questions, oh. you know what I mean those things you can go they have professional advice and it's very cheap um and they're very professional tell them about it guys order now if you're a samurai that's balding and has broken testicles our listeners get a trial month of hands for just five dollars today right now while supplies last see website for full details and safety information this would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy go to forehams.com slash belly that's f-o-r-h-i-m-s dot com slash belly Forehams.com slash belly. Enjoy the show. Broken testicles. Mm. That sounds like a Harry Potter movie. <laughs> that classic Harry Potter. It's a Harry bro- Potter movie. If it's not Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yeah. the broken testicles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. That's what I mean. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the show. Goodbye. Where are they? Are they not in the living room? Are they- right. Just put them in the um, bedroom. Oh, is that the leader? Who's Coinda? Her sister. Don't. Oh, I thought that was the main dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know names. I thought don't maybe, ever say that again. I I'm not. This I is not you. going good, right? It's going great. It's Meat good. and then this <laughs> is going great. Her sister's a dog. This podcast. Her sister's a dog. Is going swimmingly great. Okay. All right. Swimmingly. So. Yeah. Is that says. another That's a illegal immigrant reference over the Rio Grande? Maybe it was. Holy! Oh, you didn't even know you threw that it in there. That was subconscious. That was subconscious. That's how much people. That's how much Bobby is just thinks about wetbacks and illegals and stuff. <laughs> it's coming out subconscious. I love you guys. You know that too. And yeah. look at me in the eyes. You think that I'm racist toward Mexicans? No, because you have know you how ever Mexicans felt, are. Have you ever uh, felt that I, from me? But you know, no. But you know, how, and it wouldn't bother me anyway because you know how Mexicans are about chinos, eh? <laughs> Come on, she knows. Yeah. Eh? Everybody's. A, isn't that funny? The uh, Asians will be like, "No, nah, dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Korean." It's still a she <laughs> yeah. It's not. Chi- People think they mean Chinese. Yeah. They're just saying Asian. Asian. They are. Wait, that's what Chino means. Chino is just Asian for. It doesn't matter that. It's so Chinese. the literal translation of Chino is Asian, or is it Chinese it's, people? It's. What do you call Chinese people? Chino. Oh, Chino. it's meant Chino. And then oh, we call right. Vietnamese Chino. Oh, wow. Like, it's used across the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like they don't, they don't get specific yeah. with. I'm like that with Mexicans as well. And that's what? Well, I like if now, I see a, f- f- a, somebody from Costa Rica. Oh. That, right. Or Cuba. Too. No, Beaner. Oh, that's good. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Classic. That's yeah. what it's for me too. Yeah. Yeah. So you have Chino, I have Beaner. That's fine. Yeah. Same thing? And then what's what's the what's that what what's the one uh, is it nip is that the one that you guys <laughs> oh my god you know it's nip no, you I know don't, it's nip I don't know because it never you just threw it out like you did you know did you see how so I innocently think about it is I it, go, no you it? see nip all the time bro no yeah never leave every That's time the, you pass a Yoshinoya yeah yeah, yeah you <laughs> call it a nip. <laughs> Yeah right I know you do it I, we know you do Yoshinoya it. yeah it's okay so that's one of them. Right is 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 nip. Chino. Okay, but uh, but nip is nip specific to Japanese. Cor- Japanese. Oh, it's Japanese. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because you know, I you know, I think gook I is derived from. It started Viet- in Korea, but then it drifted into Vietnam. Into Vietnam. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nip and is then definitely- Chinese chink is for Chinese, right? <laughs> it was a Sesame Street well, show. I've been, I've been called chink, so yeah, oh. but it, it's supposed to be for Chinese. Yes. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, funny, what about the funny, funny? Yeah, let me tell you. Satoshi, um, he's funny. When my dad was in Kurt Station, real quick, I'm another back. side story. <laughs> yeah, I love. Hold it. on, keep let him go, let him go. So dude. when my dad was stationed in South Korea in 1958, oh, oh shit, he was. The, the, Give him a round of applause for my dad. Oh yeah, it's good yeah, for my yeah, dad. Yeah, he's yeah, a veteran yeah. man. And by the way, he Fought got a, he got along great with the uh, South Korean soldiers, but there was a lot. I mean, that was a lot of racism back then, right? Especially from the white uh, uh, officers, and you know, so there was a guy that one of the guys that my dad got along with great. He was one of the main dudes of you know he was above. I don't know what he was considered a lieutenant or whatever. Right. Mm. But this one white guy kept calling him Zipperhead. <laughs> so, you know, and he just like he went what what, and he's I like, hey, like no, he's, he's like, did you see the way he said nothing it. Zipperhead, oh, Zipperhead, nothing yeah, yeah, Zipperhead. Yeah. So finally. He came up, he asked my dad one time, 
He's um, uh, Mr. John. He called him Mr. John. Mr. John, uh, what? Why is so and so call me a zip ahead? My dad's <laughs> like, oh. He goes, I don't know if you want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Like, no, I want to know. I want to know why he called me every day zip ahead. <laughs> Such a good accent. And I go, and he goes, um, great. My dad goes, I mean, you're not going to like it, man. It's not good. No, tell me in this. So he said, well, because your eyes are small and it looked like a, like a zipper closed. And he said, the guy, the dude just looked at him and then he just like red as could be and was like, Ooh. what the fuck? <laughs> like went to go. I guess this was Bobby Lee back in the day. Yeah, 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 just yeah. Like you, oh, I would have gone crazy. He went looking for the guy to beat the shit out of him. Oh, and it was no, like, really? Yeah, the fucking dude. Because so the zipper was, head got mad. Of course he did. Because right. he was like a lieutenant. Like he oh, wasn't under. Oh. He was under. Yeah, you can't call no lieutenant a zipper head. No, no, no. Dude. You, Even if he had the little thing, the handles dangling from his eyes. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. You know those handles? And just, like that, you know? That Which would be a great, if God done did that. Ashley made my ears, eyes, ears, eyes, zippers. Oh, wow. I'd go into deep sleep. All oh, you would sleep all the time. Like you would zip it, and I, it, I wouldn't even be able to open my eyes <laughs> because it's zipped. Oh. And I would just go into a fucking slumber like that. I love that. And you know, I always tell people when to be quiet, I'll say zip it. But to you, it's going to have a different meaning. What? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So don't see. We'll, when we go back and forth. Don't see what I'm you're a, seeing, Bobby. I'm going to be like, We're yeah, in a horror movie. Zip it. We're in a horror movie. I'm scared. Yeah. And you could just turn them in, zip it. Zip it. And, and then you're like this. Wouldn't they go, <laughs> they go from the inside? I don't know. <laughs> the logistics. You were, you were making it go yeah. like they were from you're the outside. You're going to have to find an engineer to do it. Depends okay. what kind of Asian they are, too. Yeah. Oh, the That's slant. where the zipper actually <laughs> it's, originates. Yeah. It's the slant degree. Yeah. Okay. Oh, or it's the, remember, I was speaking of Carlos, remember when he would do, um, he would throw out those big words in his set sometimes. Those, are, those actually made me laugh. Remember, because the Asian guy, he would do I that know, old can I say joke. the word? He's epicanthic. Epicanthic fold. Epicanthic fold. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I never heard that before. I hadn't Into, heard it either, but you know he used to just go through like dictionaries just to find words probably. Or he heard Paul Mooney say it. Oh, oh. really? Maybe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's not stealing. Remember that bit is like, hey man, are you are you Chinese? No, 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 no. Are yeah, you yeah. Japanese? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, dude. I didn't realize you had a two centimeter epic cancer <laughs> form. <laughs> Fuck! Which is funny though. Which is very funny. Very fucking very funny. funny. In fact, I I love that bit actually. Though. Yeah, I you know have <laughs> HPO now. And the other day, I don't know why, but the other day when well, she was sleeping, and in my head I was just like, I'm gonna go through just a fucking stand up. Like mm. I haven't watched stand up in so long. And so I went to all the HBO. They have all the old ones. The old one, the half hour specials. Right. So they have Mencia's one, mm. wow. Mark Maron's one, like all those oh guys. Gosh. I rewatched the first Mencia one, right? And um, it's funny. It's funny, but I can see it's also not really exactly his voice. There are these broad ideas that you could just, you know. Was this when he was still wearing a suit? No, it was kind of a suit. He would wear like an over. When he used to, he used to dress up, man. Oh, yeah. The first time I ever saw him in the main room, I was going up to the belly room because yeah. I was only an open. He used mic to wear or, a suit. He used to, he had a suit on, and I'll never forget the joke I heard him say. He was on stage in the main room. I was like, oh, there's a Latino guy on stage here at the comedy store. Wow, right? Yeah, and he was in a in a suit. It was more like a like a blazer, slacks, mm. and not a collar shirt though. It's like a white t shirt underneath, kind of more like that kind of vibe, mm. right? Yeah. And. I'm getting ready to go up, and I still remember the joke he said, dude. He's like, dude, fucking white people get fired. They got to fucking shoot up the place. Right. Fucking blacks and Mexicans get fired. It's about damn time, fucker. <laughs> and he fucking walked up, and I remember oh, wow. I was like, that's hilarious. Wow. But of course, years later, crush, you find you out, years later, you, you hear right. that that was done. You know what I mean? That's kind of a, a bit that was done by black comics for years. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw him wear these. You know how European jeans look different? They have like embroidery on it in the back. You know, they have like. Yeah, oh, oh, on the pockets. And oh, the pockets like, and like stuff. Like Sage Northcutt's dad. Right, right. Oh. Now, those, yeah. kind of, those kind of the pants. Yeah. But the Ned not only had that, but on Dazzle. his jeans was, I guess they're embroidered of Disney characters. <laughs> like in a clump. Like it was Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. On the back? No, in the front, like oh, Holly coming what? down. You know, patch? You know, that's never looked good, by the way. Don't fuck with blue jeans. Oh. Don't put shit on it, right? <laughs> oh. But he had that, and I remember not being brave enough and having the kind of relationship where I can go to him and go, don't ever wear those again. <laughs> <laughs> right? You just, because yeah. he's the headliner, so you just accept it. 
But wait a minute, patches did work on jeans in the in the seventies and late sixties and early seventies. <laughs> Oh my God. The right patches work or iron ons, whatever. No, patches, because those are sewn on. It never worked. It never worked. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. He has a thing with I mean, patches. you know what I found when I first moved in here? What? An affliction shirt from you. You, you had an affliction shirt? Uh huh. What? And a, Von du- a couple of Von Dutch. What? So you're not one to speak, sir, about patches on jeans. Thank you. You're right. All right, let's get back. To to, we're gonna get back to Chipotle. Can we go back to funniest funny, or would you do ever not want to go back to that? Oh let's wait, just finish that story we about know. the guy that you're working with yeah. that who who met a Carlos at a Chipotle. Yeah, right. There we go. And then we'll go back. All right, 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 right. So he said he went up to him and was like, "Hey, dude, I just want to tell you, uh, you know, I've always I, always, I enjoyed you all those whatever." And and he just got real defensive. It was like, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Do you want me to say I stole? I stole? Is that what you want me to? Oh, and he just got on the defensive. Oh, the guy's wow, like, wow. no, man, I'm being like, no, dude. And he's like, dude, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's also, like you said, it's maybe it's gotten to him all these years later. Mm. I don't know. I mean, but in a weird way, I never got too associated with him. So I've, I've always sort of been on the outside. You always had a thing, though, like you're just to be safe. Yeah, I just I thing. felt like I I knew which I had just this instinct that I think I got from my dad mm. where sometimes even with other comics not just him I could have made some money but I was like oh, I don't trust this dude man mm. ah. or it's going to be bad to. it's yeah. going to be bad mm. something's going to something's going to turn out man or we're going to get into it or something so well, it's a. It's also a power shift. You have to when you open and, and up- hence why I was the hottest guy in '99, and then not now in 2019. Because sometimes those decisions, when you when you take make decisions where someone could get you in front of mass audiences, and you don't, that could be that could be a, a breaker right there. Like wow, those could have been. Wow, breakers. that's a real interesting thing that you just said because um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Is it? Because you do have a pride about you, mm-hmm. and that can be that could be a problem. Shit, it's just, right. Yeah. Oh, gross. Can I answer it. <laughs> can I answer it. Yeah. Look, that now you're on the podcast. So though. gross. Yeah, which, oh. Hello, Bobby Lee. Who is this? It's Glickman. Whoa, Glickman. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing a podcast right now with Johnny Sanchez. Um, I'm right here, brother. Love you too, dude. Did I say yeah, Glickman. What what's going on Monday? Floyd Mayweather is is playing basketball and uh and I got invited to this thing and they said, Hey, yeah, you know any other great comedians that want to come and hang out and, uh, and watch this, Floyd uh, Men away Mayweather play basketball? <laughs> Yeah, it's really funny. Are you fucking mind? You think I would do that on a fucking Monday, Glickman? (laughs) (laughs) You think I would do that on a fucking Monday, Glickman? Who's he playing against? Who's who's Mayweather playing against? (laughs) It's got to be like Brad Williams and some of his buddies. (laughs) Who's who's, who's he fighting or playing against? (laughs) He's playing basketball against Gronk. Oh, Patriots. What's what's a Gronk football player? Oh, well, then I'm going to be there for sure. You should have said Gronk up front. <laughs> I love you. No, thank you. Send me the invite. I'll think about it. So it's a novelty. I, will. All right, I love you. I love you. Bye. Wow. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao in basketball would get crushed. Manny Pacquiao's. F- he would destroy him. Yeah. Why? Pacquiao was a really good. Is guy. he really in really. basketball? Yeah. He bought wow. his own basketball team and he plays on his own team. Yeah. Oh, I would mind. See, I would watch that. It would, I bet that would be better than the fight. I bet it was. Oh, the fight sure. was horrible. Yeah. Oh, but we were here. We had a party. It was crazy. Okay. It was terrible. So now we're gonna get into funny. Is funny. The funny is funny. <laughs> okay. So everybody knows. Everybody in production. forty minutes. I love it though because this podcast is like Pulp Fiction. Oh yeah. That's what's great about it. You know, we do here, then we go to a side story, we go to here, there, and it all comes back around. So why did... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, more like Reservoir. No, no. More like Reservoir you Dogs. Know what, dude? I think a little more. You're a little piece of shit, huh? <laughs> you know you know what? You're a little piece of shit, huh? Because it's like... Let me tell you something. When I was on Mad, and they were looking for a Latino guy, 
I you did to, pull for me. I seem to remember me pulling for you. Pull, Bobby, Bobby pulled for me for about five years, and they they didn't want anything to do with me, and they went through everybody else, and they didn't like anybody else. Well, names are going to be left out on this one. But they went through everybody else audition. You remember that? Yeah. Everybody else audition. Yeah. And then finally, it comes to th- that year, and then Bobby's like, I told you about this guy five years ago. <laughs> And then David Sullivan, right. well, I guess I'll well, let's take a look at him. For one. But every, and then what does he say after that? Every time we had a table meeting or some table he, uh, table read or meet, he'd go, "Well, I finally got my Latin guy." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, should, yeah I yeah, should have yeah. listened to Bobby five years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they cancel the next season. I got two. I got say it best, Bobby. What did you say? You got fucked. I got fucked. Uh, I'll tell you why Johnny got fucked because Johnny. Got onto Mad TV at the last two years of it, mm. which they cut funding. Right, they weren't. I mean, oh. they were out. This was like, remember. Do you remember the last season? <laughs> they go. It was already bad enough. The budget, the, the budget funding, and all that was bad enough on on the thirteenth season. Fourteen. Remember, they would go. Hey, look. Um. About the takes, each take. Right. They go. Um. I mean, we'd like to have it in one. Right. But we. Ha! Didn't have it in two. Oh my gosh, the pressure! And this, yeah. when he was on it early, how many takes did you guys used to do in front 40, of live? Forty something. I mean, they just kept going and going and going, yeah. and they were to the point where like we we got to shoot once or so. Everybody, so now the added pressure of like you, can, you don't want to flub your lines, oh you don't want. Gosh. So now that takes you kind of out of the moment and whatever. But yeah, I came in if if Salzman Salzman had listened to you. Um, oh, by the way, whisper out David Salzman. Whisper out. Whisper out. Whisper out. Whisper David Salzman. David Salzman. Um, Can we go it, back to Funny is Funny or no? Anyway, I just worked with him. I'll tell you about that. Who, David? Yeah. He's a great guy. He is great. I do love him. He's great. Me too. He's a good uh, boss. He's still great. To, he was still great to work with. Yeah. Uh, so Funny is Funny. They all know our sets. Mm-hmm. Mm. They know exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, matter of fact, Freddie was one of the writers on it. So Freddie knew everybody's sets on top of it. Settle, yeah. So what basically they were doing was they don't want the host to step on anybody's material while, you know... Uh, the shows are going, so they they tell him, so-and-so's talking about this, so-and-so. So, Carlos was hosting, and they knew that I was, I think I was last yeah, on that, were, were, myself yeah. and the other late. guy. You were really late. On the show, yeah. Yeah. And I, at that time, I had this, my closer, my this killer closer bit called Parking in My Parking. One of the best jokes I've ever heard. It was, it was a, about a, it was literally five minutes long. Amazing. It was about this Persian, Persian guy who was screaming at everybody because someone was parked behind his car and he was just screaming out, who's parking in my parking? <laughs> <laughs> From different person, he was calling the apartment intercom. You know the intercom yeah, center? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. And people, they don't even know who's calling. They'd be like, hello? He's like, is this your parking? In my fucking parking? <laughs> who's parking in my parking? So yeah. It was my closer bed. I destroy. Work. It, it would do destroy. Destroy, destroy the room. Destroy. Yeah. And this was early, dude. This is, you got to remember, this is mid, late 90s mm-hmm. where this is pre 9 11. This is, I mean, people, stuff like that was just fun and fodder yeah. forever. Yeah. It was great. So Carlos knows this. Mm. So in between the, 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 the transition that I'm going to be on the next show, there was two of us on the next show. So they're going to bring up this one guy and whatever. So he, in between, they're going to bring up, did they bring up the first guy? And then I don't gonna, fucking remember, dude. I can't remember where he did it. But basically, I'm up, ne- I'm up next and he decides to do this bit on Iraq. Yeah. The Iraq war. And he goes into this, lo- and first of all, everybody's like, remember Pat Buckles comes running and goes, what the? the fuck is he doing because that wasn't anything that he, he was had supposed told to that do. Was supposed to. so they already knew but he does what three four minutes on yeah you know you could have to hear my friend no fuck you my friend but so he's wearing this accent out oh now i know what the fuck he's doing we all know what the fuck he's doing but he played like he didn't know Oh fuck! That's right. <laughs> right. Fucking Johnny's got that fuck. Fuck. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only way I wasn't even gonna go on. I said, "Well, fuck it." Then. Oh, you Forget were livid. It. That's how I, I remember. I was like, "I'm just gonna leave right now." Yeah. We were at the I was Improv. I was like, I was, "I was just getting ready to walk out." I said, "Fuck it." So they said, "Okay, here's what he's he's gonna go up to the audience and he's gonna explain it to them." So this was I don't even know if this made it better or worse. I think it made it worse. But so in between. He goes, hey, look, dude, look, fuckers. So that bit that I just did, the dude coming up next has something similar to what I was doing. <laughs> similar, <laughs> similar 
to what you were doing. Yeah, Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. You yeah. know I had that bit for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I made it worse. Then. Wow. So then the so he goes so so just laugh. Oh. You know, give it up. You know, don't <laughs> think about fucking me and yeah, my yeah. fucking thing. Oh, right. It's crazy. <sighs> anyway, I know it's crazy. That's the story. Yeah. And then and then now you know why I wouldn't have gone on the road after that anyway. Yeah. Because they were, I got asked by him after that anyway. So you know what I mean? I, I still do believe that it might have helped you mm -hmm. to go on the road with him, but you probably know, would have, dude. But you, you know, have certain principles and ethics and yeah. um But you're right, but but you can't have too much pride though. Pride's bad. Pride's not good. You know, pride can that can mm, fuck things up for you, man. That's why I'm going to Montreal because um for years I've said on podcasts, probably a thousand of them, for years, M Montreal doesn't like me. I've never been invited. Yeah. They hate me, this and that, right? But then what happened was the last three or four years, they've been asking. But still on podcasts, I'd be like, fuck them. They hate yeah. me, yeah. right? When they're inviting me, right? <laughs> so one day I was at the comedy store and um, one guy from Montreal was talking to me in the parking lot. And I go, not this year, man, or whatever. And he walks away and Howie Mandel was there. And he was like, what was that about? Because I'm going to Montreal. I go, And I told him, that they haven't never invited me, and now they are. And he said, you should never make decisions based on resentment, especially in this business. You should do Montreal. That's, a, that's, that's actually really good advice. Right? And so yeah. I go, the next time they asked, I said yes, which was this year. So you're going in when? A couple in weeks? A couple weeks, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Now, which shows are you doing? I'm hosting the Dirty Shows, and then I'm also doing a couple of, like, a gala and then a televised thing. But I'm doing wow. it. Well, good but, for you, but man. It's, yeah, but that's the same thing. It's like we have these as stand-ups, yeah. these little resentments and like a list. I don't know if you, but I have a list in my pocket of of guys that have yeah. fucked me. Yeah. Or yeah. guys that have I said know. things, right? I know, man. And then you try to lash out in your own way, and it's not healthy. It never no. works out. You never feel better about it, right? Yeah. So um, I'm trying to let go. Now, you know when you're there, though, you got to try to enjoy it. And don't get, you know, don't get Bobby while you're there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like with your shows, you know how you get. What do you mean? Like, you know, you're going to be doing these shows. Don't start going, you know, hey, I don't like what they're doing. <laughs> they're going to hate me. You know, <laughs> don't start doing all that. Why is it when you did an impression of me, you, you used to do the smoking thing too. Like I used to smoke a lot. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to crouch down yeah. against the well, wall. Well, I'm, I'm not standing. Just, right, 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 right. Um, yeah, I really sound like that to you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, you sound like that to everybody, right? Is that pretty close? Yeah, it's pretty good. That's on point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, speaking of that, one time Paul, I was having a conversation with Paul Rodriguez. Oh, there's senior. A, there's a fun time. Not junior. Because there's, a, there's, there's a fun time who, right there. Be like the skateboarder. No, you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. he became you know pretty big with the young people, but. He said the same thing. One time we were talking, I was like, yeah, man, if I hit big, I'm like, I'm not doing this club or that club because they treated me shitty and they wouldn't book. And then he's like, no. He, you know, he, and then he was like, do the opposite. He said he did the opposite. He goes, uh. he goes, you know, when I got my break, I went in, Cabron, I charged 50000 <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. He said he, he always extra charged mm. the clubs that were shitty to him or didn't book him before he uh. got uh, Sorry to interrupt, guys, but we have another amazing sponsor. Goat, uh, goat, goat, goat. What? Yeah, 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 goat, man. Goat is my favorite, right? Oh, yeah. I love feet um, furnishings. Feet? Feet furnishings. He yeah. loves feet furnishings. You don't like feet furnishings? I love feet furnishings. What's wrong? Nothing. I just took this off because uh. my goat gel hurts. <laughs> yeah, so goat is a website that you can go and you can get um, shoes, you know, that sometimes you can't even get anymore. Yeah. Tell them about it. There's also a lot of fake shoes out there. But There's with Goat, fakers. Fakers. Yeah. But Goat is the largest marketplace for in the world for authentic Yeezys, Jordans, and they have over 100, uh, they have more than 600,000 sneaker listings. I got three pairs from them, and Ooh. they were like shoes. I've always wanted to find them. Guys, find the perfect 100% authentic sneaker at Goat dot com slash belly that's goat.com slash belly plus you'll be supporting our show but if you got to go right now before the sneakers you want are gone when you go to goat.com slash belly spelled g-o-a-t dot com slash belly enjoy the rest of the show now out of those legends those hispanic legends you know you see, would think that obviously paul is one of them right cheech marin 
George Lopez. I mean, Paul was one. like the he was the original. first from he was the stand up one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's Oh the, well wait. Well, Freddie Freddie um Prince was a little before Paul. That you know what's so funny that you say that? Because you do remind me of Freddie Prince in the sense that what? I'll tell you why. In when when you see Freddie Prince perform, he does talk about race and his being Hispanic, but like he he sounds his cadence and everything is very American in terms of yeah. like, just like you can tell that he has friends with all kinds of fucking races. He doesn't right. give a shit, right? Right. Look at this kid. His kid doesn't even look Mexican. Yeah, yeah. not Pretty at Mexican. all. Yeah. yeah, man. But um, yeah, but you remind me of him. Into, you do look Mexican to me, but or Indian, whatever. But the thing is, is that but you, <laughs> but in terms of the way when you talk, right, and when you explain yourself, you go, oh, he, you know, he's just an American guy. Yeah, right. You just get a sense. Whereas someone like Carlos Mencia, even George Lopez or Paul. They can, you, you. If somebody said, "Oh yeah, George grew up in Mexico for twelve years," you'd be like, "Oh yeah, I get that." There's like an influence in Hispanic. Not, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But you it's seem like, I think like he's, uh, here, uh, Pacoima, born and raised in yeah, who? Uh, uh, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get you, but you, I know what you mean. You he's like born, him? Yeah, man, he's good to me. I love. He's George. he's always liked me, dude. And another thing, I've never been in. He knows that I've never ever been in his lane. That's the other thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of other guys were 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 just kind of lifting, dude, and doing a lot of George esque material. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's what drove him drives drives him crazy. So, um, but Fre- I, always- I take that as a comment because I actually really liked Freddie Prince's material. Man, he had some really good shit. He was great. He was great, man. Wasn't he out of Chicago? Chicago guy, right? Yeah. Oh shit. Anyway, Chicago, dude. Tight town. I have a question. Go ahead. You know your little box of resentments and your little box of hate that you keep very tightly? Yeah. Do you think that if you got to a point of absolute like stardom with a lot of money, do you think you'd hold those resentments or do you think it'd be easier to let them go? I wouldn't hurt because people. Because you, you, you said this to me one time. You said that that's how you know someone's made it. They don't knock you down. They help you. Yeah. So what I would do is I do have a list. I could say it now, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it's a definite <laughs> real list. Yeah. And I believe that um, that I would not get revenge on the people that's on that list, but I would help people that help me. And you can't help anybody expecting them to help you back, mm-hmm. which is uh, what's something that I've learned over the years because there's been a bunch of dudes that I've helped that have betrayed me. Mm. That is correct. Right. Like deep betrayal, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I my intentions can't be like, well, if I help, you just have to be a good dude, and just let go at that, you know, mm-hmm. and not expect. But yeah, I mean, I would always help Johnny. I I love him, and even though he never loved me the whole time, like when I first came to L.A., <sighs> I tried to get. He, we have two completely opposite versions of when Bobby started at the store because you're blind. You're blind to it. The raccoon. I, the ra- the ra- raccoon. Ra- part. How do you say that? Let me raccoon? say something right now, raccoon. dude. Thank you. I used to follow this guy's around this guy around. <laughs> yeah, she goes, oh <laughs> Did you say raccoon? It's raccoon. Ra- he raccoon. says raccoon, raccoon, and I had never heard that before. Yeah, and I'm s- also not the correct person to ask because I say nectar instead of nectar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm Filipino. I, I say nectar. all yeah. Oh, yeah. that sounds like a cool like like a planet on Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To nectar. I say nectar. I say frigidaire. I don't say fridge or refrigerator. Yeah, we all say fridge. Fridge. I say frigidaire. It's a brand. Oh, the frigidaire. Oh, yeah. that's funny. It's a that's frigidaire. A, frigidaire. <laughs> that's a brand. It's a brand. Frigidaire? I didn't know that when I first came to America. I was like, yeah, it's in the frigidaire, and people would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Or when we would say Johnson's buds. Yeah. I didn't know it was called a Q-tip. Yeah, my dad used to say. My dad Johnson's w- buds. would say, Bobby. Johnson's I go, yeah, he goes, Orange. Right? Yeah. And you just off of that, you have to know what he's saying. Or you get hit. Orange? Oh yeah, it's orange juice. I, I could have gotten that. Right? I but you would go, Orange. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you would have to know. That's why I always thought said, being in a house with immigrants, you have to learn three languages. Right. Mm-hmm. You have to learn English, mm-hmm. Korean, mm-hmm. and, and the, the thing is the made up words in between. In between. <laughs> yeah. Right? So it's like, you know, Korean, he can talk, I understand. Yeah. 
English, probably not that much. You know, some of the things he says. But that third language is yeah. difficult. Mm. It's decoded. Yeah. My mom yeah. has the same thing. But you know, it's even um, we even though we spoke English in the Philippines, certain words didn't have the same meanings. For instance, if you people were like, "Oh, do you do you want a napkin?" I would wonder why people were offering me maxi pads because in the Philippines, a napkin is a maxi pad. Like, oh, what do you want a napkin? Uh, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not on my fuck. Don't offer me a maxi pad. <laughs> and yeah. then tissue is toilet paper over there. Yeah. No one says toilet paper there. They're like, not tissue. And it means toilet paper. Ah. Uh, so what, what do you we call split... what, the stuff that you blow your nose with? Um, I don't tissue? know. No. There's no word. They don't tissue blow Tissue also, maybe. That's tissue too? I don't know. Oh. I forget. So if be, I ask, we didn't blow t- our nose. We would blow it in a hanky. Oh really? Oh hanky. So if I'm oh, oh remember those? <laughs> yeah, we would fold them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And put oh yeah, back in the day, when older, yeah. older men right. had a freaking <laughs> hanky. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was we're talking older men blowing right full on lubes, no, dude, yeah. into the napkin, and then they would just fold it, and, they, and <laughs> yeah. then later on you'd see them open up to oh, find yeah. the spot that they had not <laughs> used. Right, right, right. And here's another, and they always give it to crying ladies. Yeah. Like, oh, God. Court, like in courtrooms, <laughs> right? Same napkin. Or, yeah, the same napkin. <laughs> they're like fucking wiping their taint with, blowing their nose with. They give it to the crying lady. And oh, God. And she's like, God. thank you. And she's like, you know what I mean? Imagine what's on that napkin. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's, oh, that's nap- interesting. That, they were called <laughs> handkerchiefs, right? Handkerchief. Handkerchief. Yeah. Handkerchief, handkerchief yeah. right? Handkerchief. Ha- handkerchief. Ha- handkerchief. Ha- I can't even. How, does it, how is that Handkerchief. Because I even, oh, I always, because I could never tell if it was handkerchief, because it's spelled hand. Handkerchief. It's, it shouldn't but, be handkerchief. But handkerchief. Because it's have we chief, all been right? saying it wrong? Hank, I, I, I've never, I've never H- said that word. Hanky, <laughs> and they would call it a hanky. It's I would a, probably say it's that. It's a handkerchief. That's right? correct. That's, it's yeah. handkerchief. Yeah. Oh, handkerchief. Not handkerchief. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. By the way, I can. Can I answer that question that you asked, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. About the box yes, of resentment. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I I would not go and and I I wouldn't make it obvious to any of the people that burned me or or whatever didn't help me or not not didn't help me but you know the people on that list yeah i wouldn't make it a point to let them know if i had hit hit huge yeah yeah i would just help the people that i've always said i would help or whatever but i would always know now granted I would probably they would probably think i had become a stuck up prick because i would not acknowledge them at that point, ah, uh, that's the only yeah. thing I would do. I would be like, no. Be I'm, would you do something? I would just be very. Would distant. you do a power play like this, where, um, let's say you were at the helm of um, producing, directing, Ooh. writing a movie, yeah. bring him into an audition just to say no? Oh no way, man! Damn, I don't think I would do that. I would do that's that. That's he. I know that's his. Uh, if I to get revenge, I would set up. I would make a movie, and I would audition my enemies. <laughs> okay, and I'd be in the room. Right, <laughs> so um, so check it out. So elaborate, and I'll be with a casting director, right? But let's suppose you're the guy coming in, yeah. right? And this is, uh, you so just walk into the room. I'm there with the casting director. Hey, Bobby, thanks hey, so much, hey, man. Um, yeah. Um, so you ready? Yeah. All right, just uh, you're gonna play it to me because I'm gonna read with you. All right, cool. All right, good time. Go ahead. Man. You have to first start. Go ahead. <laughs> Carol, what are you doing? Thank here? you. <laughs> That's a funny bit, Bobby. All right. Thank you. That's enough. What's wrong? You did it. We got it. Go ahead. Damn. You would do that too. Straight. And when the door closed, right? I would look up at the heavens and I'd have love tears coming down my face and and happiness. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I think you got burned more than I did. I definitely got burned more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When I came up, the only the only thing close I would get to that is probably if I had that. Why do I say so hated when I came up here? Oh, I can imagine. Oh, this all happened before you even got to. Yeah, when I the transition from San Diego to LA was so rough for me because I felt like because remember when I first moved up here, Freddie started turning on me. I had no yeah. friends, dude. That didn't, that didn't go too long, right? Yeah, yeah. The only thing I didn't want you to do, the only thing that irritated me about you when Here you started. Here we go. Yeah, I just didn't like that you relied on hair for laughs. That always got under my skin. And you know, I told you, I told you that many, many times. Yeah. When he when he first started, it was the it was yeah. real super high. And he'd go, oh. <laughs> he'd go like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I and I would go, oh, Bobby, you know, you're good enough without, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you sort of you you don't do that anymore. Well, that's but. how Ned. That's how Ned got me off of it. It's so funny. That's the same advice that he gives all the younger comics. It's like you cannot rely on mm-hmm. anything about your physical appearance. And yeah, that's what I used to do. Uh, yeah, because everything yeah, I say, because what yeah. happens? Everything is, I say is from my own experience. Mm-hmm. You know, that's all. You you know what else? I'm so glad I never. I've always been a slow starter. You know that. Too, I always yeah. start off. What slow too? I'm a no. slow starter. No, no, I'm a slow starter. Opposite of that. Why? You come I right struggled. out of the shoot. I no, struggled. you grab the mic and you're like, oh, it'll fuck you. And it'll fuck you. <laughs> I, struggled. I struggled. I struggled. And then, and then everybody just goes crazy. No, no. But anyway, I've always been a little bit slower and then I get, I get my wheels going in and whatever. But you know what I always wanted? I always wanted, I used to envy the comics who did have something that they'd go on stage and, and they would, not so much like looks or stuff. Yeah. But you know those comics who have that one line They'll walk up and right. they open with a line, dude, and it just crushes the room. And then everybody loves them. But I'm so glad I didn't, because some of those comics are still opening with that line twenty fucking years right. later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it becomes this crutch, you know? Right. What I mean? Sort of like that's why you tell young guys don't get too much into the physical. Like I know thing. an Asian guy, right? And I'm gonna say his name, mm-hmm. but he relies so heavily on the Asian accent mm-hmm. that he can't. He can't not do a set without it. And then, even when he auditions for things, they will. and it's not even in the description oh. of the character, he'll just make a choice and do an Asian accent because he knows that that's his strength. Right. Right? But it's a crutch. Yeah. Yeah. Now, You're right. I used to have the, I did the hair thing. I used to wear cowboy hats and like overalls and like really? beer clothes. I just saw that. I was oh, I never old saw pictures. that. Yeah. I should bring that up right now. What is it? It's your headshot with a cowboy hat. You wore a cowboy hat. Bobby, I never headshot. saw that. That th- Those I never saw. Yeah, I used to wear a cowboy hat, and I used to go hee-haw and the whole thing. I don't know why. This For- was in San Diego? Yeah. Commercials? Yeah, yeah. No, I would just do it. <laughs> Can I go grab it? No, no, don't grab it, no. because I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. I know. I remember what photo it is. Yeah, but I'm I wanna cowboy- s- we want to see it. I'll go get it then, babe. <laughs> now, remember us dressing up in cowboy cloth- clothing on the rice and beans tour, remember that? Oh right, right, right. And that was the you were the funniest. That was the funniest look I think I've ever seen anybody in my entire life. Was you dressed up as, as full on cowboy? If you don't know what rice and beans yeah. is, when Johnny got on the Mad TV, <laughs> I pitched a, sh- a, a thing where <laughs> Johnny and I go across the country, the Midwest, and the, the Midwest, the South, and, and trying to find America and stuff. I think still that it would be a great. You know, show. let me tell you, no. dude, it was good. But here was a problem for me. What? These and everybody will notice this. I hadn't even done an episode of Mad yet, okay? We shot this the summer before I started shooting the sketches. Yeah. So I didn't know, this guy is seven seasons in at this point, eight seasons. What Johnny's saying is if you watch them now, because you can see him on YouTube, right? He had just gotten the show, so (laughs) So he was in his head, he was so green and like editing everything in his head, like what to do and what not to do. Totally. Right, so here we go. What? Whoa. That doesn't even look like you. You look really handsome. You look really different. Dude, I... Yeah, it was cute. That's a good look. You look like Montgomery Cliff there. (laughs) Who's that? that? An actor from like, he was in like, I think the Magnificent Seven or Once Upon a Time in the the West. Yeah, yeah. Look at this thing, man. Dude, let me see that. I mean, I really wasn't... You know what I was expecting to see? Him with with a hat like... Barely sitting on his uh, head because his hair is so big, and he's making that. Yeah, this is actually. But I used to walk into lumber yards because that's what that's the look I would have Did you see when that I used man? when I used to work for a construction company, mm-hmm. and my job was to go and pick up materials. But I would dress like that. That's how I used to dress. So I used to walk into like lumber yards and have everyone. As soon as they see me, they just burst into laughter. Oh, so you they yeah see it started early. It started early. That. This is before stand up. That's before stand up. Right. So I used to come in with a cowboy hat, but real. I put a little toothpick in my mouth. Right. <laughs> a little what? Toothpick. <laughs> a toothpick. A toothpick in my mouth. I used to come have a little swagger. Hey, y'all. And they just uh, go to the fucking. Yeah, because remember you and I, when we dressed, we were, remember that was at uh, Roll Tide, man. Remember we were doing that because of Keegan? Oh, yeah. So we were dressed and then we were doing Roll Tide. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that. Let so, me ask you something. Okay. I don't unbelievable, because you were there. Was Keegan there when you were there? Yeah, man, I but did. But Jordan was gone. Nope. 
I did one season with Jordan and I did two seasons with Keegan. Oh wow. Um Ike was gone though, Baron Holtz. Ike uh, they replaced Ike with um Matt Bronger. Not Matt, the one before Matt. Oh yeah. Not Eric, Eric Rice. The season before. Dan Oster. Because you were upset because you go, they let my my they let my boy go. And you he Bobby <laughs> poor Dan. Bobby took it out on him, man, that season. Oh no. Yeah. Because I mean what's Bobby's Bobby's like All right, they replaced him. Yeah, I know. I don't wanna I just got I ask, love you, Dan. No, he's, he's a great dude. A great, you liked him by the really by talented the end. guy. Yeah. Let me ask you this then. I'm curious. When you were doing open mics, I have to, man. I don't, okay. When you were doing open mics, would did you go up your very first time? Did you think I'm gonna do I'm gonna dress something funny or have my hair funny? Or did that come after? Because that this is this makes me wonder if you did it from the from the get go. Well, you know, my when I first started, my biggest influence at the time, I was really into Andy Kaufman for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like trying to find any tape or like v- VHS yeah, of tape course. of Andy because yeah. there's no video on DDV, um, internet then. Yeah, so I'd grab a- everything that I could, right. you know. And um, so my thing was just to be more of an anti stand up. But the th- thing is, is that I realized the first time I went up that I have to. I'm not. I can't do this. I, I want to be loved so much. Mm. You know, I have that. It's a weird neediness yeah. I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want people to love me so much. And that's not going to do it. So I started writing bits. Yeah. yeah. So your first time, you, did you go up and do something I weird? I was weird. I stuck stuff in my asshole. I was like, <laughs> you know, talking in different languages, being weird. That's another picture I just found. What? what? <laughs> I, I, right. I unearthed. Um, someone trying to stick um, the chocolate bar into your butt. I found it. it. I found it. The original one? The original. What? It's not just even the original. I'm going to show you. I also the... found a couple things, other things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't, all right. Don't bring it Why up. Why is this all happening right now? Because we're moving. Oh, so you're... Fun facts. I yeah. thought you meant online. No, no, no. I So I have... I've I've put together this his uh, chest of memories. Yeah. So I have all these amazing photographs. Some not so amazing. <laughs> some a little bit um, of him in uh, precarious situations. Yeah, I used to hang out in Silver Lake with a bunch of skaters, like Laban Fidias and these kind of guys. Yeah. You were a skater and, boy, that's right. Yeah, I was a skater boy. And they used to call me, um, They thought that everyone thought I was bisexual. People still think I am. Mm. But back then they thought I was bisexual. Mm-hmm. And I used to, because I used to do things like, because of that era, I used to just be more jackassy about things, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. sticking things yeah. in my asshole, lighting on fire, you know, that kind of thing. And, but then stand up, Back then, because um, guys like this, you know, you you have to compete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I have to do bits like these guys. But you know what? You, you know, Mitzi would have loved all that. Yeah, but you know what? Mitzi saw beyond. You know what? That's the one thing about love about Mitzi is, is that when it comes to me, what was? That's it. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> is that a, tw- a Twix? Wait, what? Or Babe Ruth. This right here. <laughs> Can I see that one for time? Wow, your butt's nice. You're really nice asshole, right? No hair. How is that possible? Oh, that's so ugly. You didn't even clean. And that's why I just showcased that. Dude, oh that God. was a power move. Because really I have a very nice. clean butthole. So clean. Who made these flyers that says Bobby both ways? That's the Laven and those guys, right? So they used to call me Bobby both ways. <laughs> right. <laughs> these are fucking you, bro? Yeah. These are not Photoshop. No. <laughs> Can you please show Johnny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what that's Bobby both ways. Oh my god! That's why everyone thought you were bisexual. Let me see, let me see, let me see, yeah, Bobby. Great, po- great poses though. Really? He does pose good, doesn't he? Let me see. The really good let me, poses, let me see, like penthouse, see, like see. top penthouse. Oh, poses. that's right. That's right. Yes. God, look at how I was kind of buff though, huh? Yeah. I just had a good body, I think, back then. <laughs> poses. Though. Yeah, great poses. On point. How cute I am. Anyway, um, there's so many things I want to talk about with Johnny. I'm not gonna let you guys get lost in track. So we saw. No, let me let me talk about this. This is a story that I say all the time. Well, you and I go to the Bakersfield, and I left my truck in my in the parking lot of the comedy store. Oh yeah. And we look up, and we see the ghost. Yes. Thank you. That's the all lady. I want. To, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all I want to know. The old lady. Yeah, yeah. Up in the so window. I, well, I thought it was a man, but you thought it was an old lady. But you know, I saw that dude a few times that they call that I didn't know at the time until. What, what, what do they call him? Gus. Gus. Yes. Yeah. Mm. 
So I just want to throw that out because I say that story a lot about Gus and the ghost, mm-hmm. and no one ever believes me, yeah. right? But that's my. And and just so everybody understands, when 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 Bobby and I saw this, and when I and when I saw uh what I thought was Gus and a tr- and some dude in a trench coat with that with that with the derby yeah, yeah. hat in the yeah. belly yeah, room, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is what I wasn't even a regular yet. I was doing. Wow. I was in a sketch group up in the belly room. That was wow. when I was in Los Abstractos with Freddie Asparagus. <laughs> wow, he had a sketch show. He had a sketch group. Right, Freddie Asparagus. You knew uh, Freddie Asparagus. I worked with Freddie Asparagus. No. Okay, if you don't know who Freddie Asparagus is, you'll, the only movie that you know, <laughs> a real person. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a yes, real he's a real person. Is, person. Fake last he was name. in a movie called Three Amigos. Yeah. Oh, I love oh, Three Amigos. Okay, so he's the bartender. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So he's the bartender, oh, yeah. right? So I remember when something happens and he comes up and the people shoot. Yeah. He has a famous line. I yeah, forgot what the yeah, line um, is. But like that's Freddie Asparagus. But, that's, wow. but he did all kind. He did all. He was doing. He had already done a lot of films. Yeah. But But so when I when when I saw who I ended up later finding out that that was Gus. At the time I didn't know. I was just like, hey man, I thought I saw some old dude, some older man in a trench coat, whatever. Cut to like literally 15, 16 years later, they bring those. Um, poltergeist people into the store uh, and then it ends up on A&E, right? right. And I'm watching it because I heard about it and I remember they were there. Mm-hmm. So they're talking about it, and all of a sudden the lady is like, yeah, there's uh, the hitman for Bugsy carried a 45 snub no- or 38 snub nose. He was the hitman. He took care of everybody. He wore a trench coat and a hat. His name was Gus. I see this like 16, 17 years later and I'm sitting in my place when I just went, Holy shit! I've seen Gus. That's the dude I saw twice. I, me too. I saw it one time, and then I saw the what I thought was a lady. But yeah, it, it was I, it was Gus. What? what I saw was a top hat, faceless man. Top in, hat or a derby? Something. I don't yeah. know what it was. I thought you said you've never seen with a ghost. When I say that, the last That's two me. episodes. He said he stopped believing in ghosts. He I said believe. He believe you, you believe. Believing, can. believing, it's seeing and believing is two different. So things. what do you? What? Think? <laughs> what? So seeing is not believing. Because your eyes can deceive you. Okay. So oh. what do you think it was that we both what what do you think it was we saw that <laughs> night up in what, the top of the that back room, dude, when everybody right, was right, gone. Right, 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 right. It was like three thirty. I in know, the morning. I know, I know. I believe it. What's wrong? Her hair. My hair. Is What's good? wrong with your hair? <laughs> Something's going on. Gilbert is yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it's a like no go. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I see what I see. I believe what I believe, and that's end of the story. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Can we as, get that as like? One of the greatest quotes of all. <laughs> I see what I see, yeah. and then I believe what I believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like Bobby that's like Lee. every American right now. <laughs> yeah. Facts are not that, enough. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I see that's the true. facts, well, but I'll believe what I believe. But we live. Or in a- something we're seeing isn't really what we're yeah. seeing because people are putting shit together, photos, photoshopping, so you don't, this this political guy is, is shaking hands with this political, and you're uh-huh. like, really? And then you find out later, that doesn't look real, or, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh... So when do you want me to give the reveal? Oh yeah, the re- how much reveal? time do we have left? What reveal? He said he had something to reveal. Oh yeah, he has something to reveal. Because you're going hard on time We're at an we're hour. We're over an hour. Yeah, we're over an hour. hour. Yeah, well, so I don't that's want... all you need, right? Yeah. That's what we usually going. go to, but we're, gonna, we're not done. Oh, I just Do you just want to be done? No, I just want I don't to, want to be done yet. I just wanted to double check. I want to, let's go into like I want to have a couple oh. more questions yeah. about your yeah. life and then we'll sure. go into the reveal. Okay. Is this reveal? Right? <sighs> this reveal got to be good now. Is it good? Built oh it, my god. Well, let's build it up, build right, it up right. too much. Yeah. So, um also I just want to talk about Johnny has a beautiful daughter. Yeah. And when I met you, I never thought that you would ever have kids. I didn't want kids. I know. I never thought that it was you would be the last person to have kids. I was like, I'm not. Having- and you were like a fuck machine back then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is what you want to talk about. <laughs> well, well, I want you know I want to talk well, about. How is that possible if I look like a um a, Three, a cricket um a pinto uh, because pinto, at the time a raccoon in a raccoon because how was that possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. Back then though, there was because you were. It, well, I was I, younger, Bobby. Not only like that 20, though, it's my late twenties. I know, 20s. but yeah, it was here's the thing. When I was young, all I wanted to see was a dude that was a minority that's more like me. You reminded me of me in the sense of that, you know, I grew up, you had a lot, you had white friends growing up. Yep. Me too. Yep. You know, we were, we grew up in America. We have that sensibility. And when I watched you, you know, I used to open for Mencia and I, you know, I knew George and Paul Rodriguez and all those guys. Yeah. But I was a young guy, but you, to me, you weren't a Hispanic comic. Right, you were like more of a just a comic. A that comic I, that who I, yeah. is Hispanic, but just 
Just yeah. a comic who yeah. happens to be. So you also had a way of dressing. You had your leather jacket. You had pleather. Dark, you had the dark on, on your eyes. Pleather. But back then it didn't seem ethnic. It just seemed like you were tired. Oh, like yeah, it, he has what Gilbert has. Same thing. Oh, yeah, he yeah. does. Have, yeah, he has the same. You thing. know what I thought it was the, because of the lamp. But <laughs> no, no. Okay, it's like a dark. Hey man, yeah, yeah. Raccoon. Cr- raccoon. raccoon. Cricket the cricket. Yeah. Cricket the cricket. <laughs> cricket. And he was. He also. You have to admit this. You were the hottest guy at the store. Well, you know what's weird. I didn't feel that way when that was all happening because Eleanor recently told me, "Whisper out, Eleanor Kerrigan. Whisper out. Whisper out." Kerrigan. Um, she had told me, she goes, oh, I think you were one of the top dudes and you were, you had some of the best sets that were happening at that time. You were like, you were like Dane Cook at that time. But it, that's so weird. Cause I didn't look at myself that way. You were. And maybe I should have. Also, I wanted to, I, I, but you brought her name up. How much did Eleanor hate me back then? Uh, d- despised you. Crazy. Like how? I mean. Like she- wanted me dead. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I had to talk <laughs> to the two of them. Oh, you were the mediator. Was, yeah. Yeah. I would, I'm friends with both of them. Oh no! And then I would go talking to Bobby, and then and then she, you know she'd be in the back. She'd walk by and just give a look that Eleanor looked that she go. You like know what that. pissed me off the most, or vice versa. She, I felt bad for Bobby because you know Eleanor was. I really really like her. Yeah, and we I feel love like it was probably warranted the way she treated you. Because she seems like a really stand-up woman. Straight. And she didn't take shit from anyone. Johnny, right. defend me. <laughs> Come on, defend Johnny. Me. Well, you guys... <laughs> defend me. Please defend no, me. No, because you guys hashed it out and you got to no, the bottom No, defend me. What was I... What am I like, though? Good dude, right? I think she was misinformed... There we go. ...on the, the, what really happened. Here we go. Bobby That's exactly... Misinformed, Eleanor. Be- because we had the... We did the podcast together and you were explaining... You know, she was getting information... From the fr- friends, yeah, uh, and I, I didn't even really know the whole thing either. To be honest with you, you sort of refreshed. Mm. My, I didn't. I thought it was about the dads. But here's what pissed material. me off the most. That's so all I you had gotten Mad TV right, and we were coming into the store. You and I, okay, and the, there was a main room show going on, and Freddie Soto's wife Corey and El- and Eleanor were sitting there watching the show, and you, as we walked by them. Corey says to you, like, why the fuck are you doing that show with that piece of shit? And you mm-hmm. said to her, are you out of your mind? It's a fucking TV show. And Bobby's my friend. You yeah. said that to her? Yeah. And I almost burst into tears. And that's when I knew that you were an ally for life. Yeah. Now we're ready for this new reveal. <laughs> oh, All right, so you, you said you were going to get into the nitty gritty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go into the reveal now. What is what your need to reveal? All right. It's going to be huge. No, because I just love you slinging. All, you've been slinging the Mexican jokes at oh, me yeah. for so many years. Here he is. You know, beaner. Uh, Never said da, that. Da, 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 swimming. Done so, that. So swim. I've all that, that shit. I've done that. All right. So I got my DNA test. Ooh, 23 and me. Uh, ancestry. Well, okay, well, let's cut well, that let's out. Let's cut that out. Twenty-three and me is better. Yeah, yeah. Sponsor. Just say twenty-three and me. 23 Why and did me. you guys do twenty-three and me? They're, they're our sponsor. sponsors. Oh shit! We can cut that out. No, no, <laughs> no, okay. here's, no. Here's a weird yeah, thing. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what happened. I'm, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Because here's what I'm going to do. I am going to do twenty. <laughs> I am going to do. I'm going to do. There's a. Well, there is a cheaper version <laughs> out of Tijuana called Vente Tres y Yo. It's only fifteen dollars. <laughs> Because 23 and me has got to be <laughs> Is that a real oh thing? Oh, my God. Don't tell me it's a real thing. Oh, no, my, that's, that's so amazing. funny. I've been t- I told my family I was going to do 20 <laughs> So um So here's the weird thing. Actually, all of my family did 23 and me. Yeah. yeah. I ended up I ended up doing Ancestry. Ancestry for this reason. And I called 23 and me to ask them about this first. If you know that you have some Portuguese in your, in your family- and you and you gonna get your DNA. You're gonna get your DNA done. It's really good. You, they don't. Twenty three Me does not split up. They don't split up. You can take all this out. Yeah. They don't split up. Spain and Portugal. Spain and Portugal. They put as one, and it's uh. Iberian. So you're gonna get that information back, but you're not gonna quite know what percentage is what. Ancestry just about nine months ago figured it out. And they're now separating Spain and Portugal. Mm. And I found this out because you know how many Portuguese friends I have in the San Joaquin Valley. There's a yeah. ton of them over there, right? Yeah. And they're like, oh, no, now we know. And they're like, oh, well, then I need to know because I knew my mom. One thing we knew about my mom is that she was half. She's half Mexican and half Portuguese, right? Mm-hmm. So my, all my family did. They, they were like, oh, well, we're I'm 40% Iberian or I'm 38%, mm-hmm. 49 But I was like, but what? 
what's your port? Where are? Where's your Portuguese and where's your Spanish yeah. or whatever? So I get my D now. You know, I've been telling everybody my whole life. I'm like, I'm pretty much Mexican. I'm like, I'm probably 80% Mexican. I bet I have maybe 10, 15% Portuguese. So I'm 38% Portuguese, 33% Mexican, and 21% Spanish. Mm. So I'm more. You're Mexican. I'm more. <laughs> after all that. So. You're fucking Mexican. I'm, but but if you add the Portuguese and the Spanish together, that is, that's like that doesn't sixty percent Iberian. That, yo, that don't do shit. And thirty percent Mexican. That don't do shit for me, bro. Oh, God. why do you got to start acting like you're talking like a cholo or something? I'm not acting like. No, you're like that don't do, do hey, shit bro, for me, bro. bro. You're Mexican, bro. Okay, All but right. anyway, look. I don't care. It, but here's what's weird for me. I told you growing up in the San Joaquin Valley. I for some reason I. I gravitated to all these Portuguese friends in high school. During grade school and all that other, it was whites, it was blacks, and it was, you know, Mexicans. But in high school, I made a lot of these Portuguese friends because they were out in different schools because they have dairies and farms out there, right? That's mm-hmm. the majority of the people that you get your haagen and your and your cheese and all that shit. It's all these Portuguese dairy people, right? Yeah. And, and all they do all the produce and all that shit too. So I grew up with, I'm going to their festas, Growing up out there, I'm literally the only Mexican. They would give me shit sometimes. Like, fuck, dude, what's this Mexican dude doing at our Portuguese festa again? Every uh, single fucking year. Uh, and now I You had no idea why you were going? You just had a sense? But I believe in that shit. Right. Like, I believe I was gravitating towards the people that, I, that I'm so predominantly- It's so funny that you say that because when I do, I love sushi. And I'm always eating sushi. <laughs> I am. But I, you didn't find Katsu. out you're Japanese. He is yeah, I'm 10% Japanese. Oh, 10? Okay. Well, think about the surprise. <laughs> it's the me. same thing. 23 and me. 38%. That's a huge... Oh, now we're dealing with like percentages. Percentages and nets. <laughs> is that what you're doing? But listen, I am going to get just... 29.9, so I'm ahead. Well, I rounded up to 40. Yeah. I'm going, I'm 40, and then I'm 30, and I'm... 20, you know. So what you're saying is you're Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> because you look, you don't look anything like him. You're like, dude, let me, let me, let me say you. something right now, dude, right? I'm going to let you go. In, Portu- if, in Portugal, if they had fraggles yeah. or, or like little creatures living into the walls with little <laughs> mystical caves, there he goes. right? Then I'd be like, oh yeah, that's that. But let me say something right now, dude, Uh-oh. right? You're oh. fucking weird looking, bro. Oh, okay. Right? You're fucked up eyes, but you're a good dude and you have a lot of talent. Okay. And that's why you're here. Thank but you. don't be throwing that fucking heat in here. Okay. With your fucking facts. Okay. Here's okay? another thing. I love you so much, though. Let yeah. me. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride that that Do uh, shit looking wave for a second okay. with you. Yeah, go ahead. I'm with you. Okay. So then I get this information and I start sitting back and I start getting pissed off, right? Yeah. Because I'm looking at Portuguese. You've seen the the players, the Portuguese soccer oh, yeah. players. Oh yeah. Like you're talking about. The the um, Spanish the Spaniards oh shit yeah mm-hmm. dude Puyol yeah all those guys are good looking or and I get not Puyol but five nothing cricket <laughs> <laughs> oh man dude cricket. I'm serious I was really I was so mad about that you I could have had more out. of a European yeah right dude I could have looked like a fucking conquistador or a fucking soccer player dude yeah it's like having vanilla ice cream right let's you you're at a Baskin Robbins mm-hmm. right. But some of the other flavors got in, mm-hmm. right? So it, it ruins kind of, yeah. The pureness. It. The pureness of it. You're really shitting on Mexicans right now. I love them so much. I love the fiestas. Oh, they, now it's them? I love the Now it's not play. me? The guitar playing is wicked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's trippy. I had an identity crisis when I first came from the Philippines, and I was Mexican all throughout high school. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. They, they Now, wait, do you know? Wait, wait, wait. Out of all of you here, since the, the, that's the sponsor, and I am getting it done because I'm going to have it double checked. Yeah, it's fine. Because my family. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, keep, fa- keep talking about ancestry. No, listen. <laughs> because my, we're cutting all of it out. So I, keep talking yeah. about it. No, no, but here's the, the honest deal is before my family, since my parents and my three sisters, two sisters did. The 23 me. I'm going to do it anyway, also as backup, just to make sure that the information I got is it's pretty accurate. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing it anyway, but I just wanted to know what my Portuguese was. And I called, I did call 23 me and ask him about it. Okay, congratulations. And and by the way- Is that what you want to hear from me? By the way- You want to hear that from me? Congratulations. Let's, let's, let's give a whisper out to who? 23 me. 23 me. 23 yo. <laughs> okay. 
Um, is that it? No, Sorry, we're not that done. We're not done. We're not anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, you see it, this gigantic reveal, and that was like <laughs> I just we thought you the would whole be. Thing. I thought you would be more like what? Like I thought you were. Gonna, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. You gave me nothing. No, no. Yours, your that. I hated start, the fact you're like you're Mexican. Yours is the yours that 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 was literally the last episode of Game of Thrones. I was like, ah. Mm. I saw you post. <laughs> I saw you post. You gave them a good. You gave them a good on your Twitter. You were like, hey, thanks for a great show. Because I will tell you why. I watched one episode, just so you know. Of what? Game of, of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones. Early in the, yeah, in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, you didn't like it. Uh, I just, I didn't get into it. The so. greatest show. Really? Uh, yeah. Now, you told me that about The Wire years ago. You told me there'll never be anything better than The Wire, and that it'll, I should watch it because it'll Did change. Did you see The Wire? I didn't. <laughs> Why? I watched Mad Men. I love that was, Mad Men. I love Mad too. Men, too. Beginning I end. love, you know what's weird, dude? I, I seem to gravitate towards shows and movies that I'll never be cast in. Yeah, you do have that thing. You have that thing. I have a weird thing with that. Like, you're a huge ACDC fan. Yeah. But if you were in the band, people are like, what the (laughs) fuck is this? That's, but you know, it didn't happen. (laughs) What the fuck? What's wrong with me? Did I'm so mean? But that can happen. Angus, Angus Sanchez. (laughs) Get that That's what happened with Journey, with Arnel Pineda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, we got Steve Perry, Steve Aja, whatever. Yeah, Yeah, there was the other Steve. And then another guy, and then there's Arnel Pineda. I think that helped them, though. But it was because he sounded so much like Steve. And the other guys looked like Steve. That one looked just like him. The guy that was named Steve, I yeah. can't remember, but they they couldn't, and and with Pineda, it, they found this dude that sounded literally just like, and my friends have gone to those concerts. I can't personally go for because Steve Perry is from our, from the Valley. He's right near my hometown, so he's been our. I just feel like I'd be cheating on Steve, man. I can't do it. Whoa, can't do it. But but props to Pineda, man, because he's done an amazing job. But I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> You know, wow. Steve is really Steve Pereira. He's Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, another oh, Portuguese yeah, another, guy. Another yeah. Portuguese. Epa! Oh, Let me give God. a shout out. Let me give a whisper out to the Portuguese. Epa. All right. So if you were in Portugal. Oh. Let me just hear me yeah. out. You're walking the street down. What's a city in Portugal? Uh, Porto. Lisbon. Porto. Lisbon. Porto. Porto. Lisbon. Porto. You're in Porto, right? And I, I feel like Portugal. you would work at the Portugal. docks. You would work at the docks. Back then, right? I'd probably be wearing so you have like things on your bag, you're carrying it, right? Yeah. And then you go, you know what? Hey, I'm going to go get a sandwich at lunch. You go, right? You think that people seeing you in Portugal would look at you and go, that guy's Portuguese? They'll probably think I'm Brazilian. Yeah. Uh, but I would fit in probably more on the Azorian, on the Azor Islands. Azores. Because that's where there's more of a mix of everybody. You're a clever there. fucker, huh? Yeah. Azor Island. Yeah. I know, my Portuguese people, dude. Yeah. I was supposed to go to Porto this month, actually, but he forbade me. So what? What areas were you gonna go? Uh, you know why? Because yeah, actually, of the man over there. He acts flat out said no. Is it the Portuguese man? Is that why? Dude, I know several dudes in that region of the world that papa that. What Portugal? I've never been to Portugal. What about that Spanish dude? That's Spain, <laughs> and only one. Pop, pop, right in the fucking vag. Oh God. Oh. Right, this fucking this is... soccer player. <laughs> I was just talking about soccer. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> so what, where were you going to go? I'm kind of curious. What, what I was, was... just going to I was just gonna spend the whole time in Porto. I don't like jumping from city to city, three days here, three oh, days here. I, don't, I like to actually like experience it for a while longer. Um, I don't just go for- Is that the city, Porto? Yeah, Porto. Oh, I actually never heard of that city. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's oh, okay. smaller. It's not as like a. Is it near Lisbon or any of the? I, how far is it, George, from Lisbon? Um, it's like an hour north of Lisbon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, at Port Wine. Oh. Yeah. You got. Oh, you should let her go, dude. She, okay, she can go. I'm, I'm... <laughs> well, you're gonna go with somebody, right? Like a yeah, friend? friend. I was gonna just give you a compliment. Who? You. Oh. My comp- compliment to you, because I, in my head, you know, I've been asking for you on this thing. I've wanted you on it. Really? Yeah, I really have. And um, I really, honestly, you're a big part of my life. Not in terms of, we're not like, we don't hang out all the time. Right. But when we do see each other, it's always super fun and positive. Mm-hmm. Even when we were in, you went, when we were doing Rice and Beans, and we were in Lu- Louisiana, and then at four in the morning, you and Steve Trevino, <laughs> yes. in a blackout drunk, 
right, pounding on my do- my hotel room door. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, let's party, right, <laughs> right. And it's like they know that I'm sober, yeah. right. Just those little memories. I I just I have so many memories for, with you, yeah. right. Yeah, that are guess... mostly p- positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, they ended up. I ended up crashing out that night with my hotel room door open. Really? Yeah, that's I was, how fucked up you were. I was just in my underwear on my bed <laughs> on the co- on the top of the covers. Yeah, and then the next day, um, what what's his name? Who unfortunately uh, passed away? Um, Ooh, uh, from mad took his life. Who? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Don't do, don't do that. I now I just know. Yeah. Mona's husband. Correct. Okay. But he, I it, loved him. He informed me the next day. Uh, I feel bad that I'm blanking on his name, but he he came to me the next Garrett. day. Yeah. He said to me, he goes, Hey, man, you guys ran out on your bill. Like we walked out of the bar and it was like a $250, $300 bill. Ooh. And then what happened? And I was like, Oh, here's my credit card. And he was like, Don't you know, do today or whatever. I go, No, I'll get you the money or whatever. But Steve, we, we all just walked out. We were taking <laughs> shots wow. after shots wow. after shots. And then we came into your room and. That was yeah. That was and that was that was three point. And also, when he's drunk, <laughs> FYI, if you oh. ever see him drunk, walk the other way. Oh, stop it, Bobby! You, you get physical. I just, yeah, I, you do. You get I'm, aggressive. No, I get yeah, a hug. No, no that's not like, hugging, dude. Really, I hug people. Right? When you hug, you don't do this lock. Oh, MMA, right? Lock. See, so he hugs you, does a lock, and then he starts pulling in. It's not <laughs> oh. fucking. Yeah. Only listen, not with people that I don't know that well. It's with friends that I've had for a long time. By the way, no fuck stories. This, about you let, me, let me let me. <laughs> so let machine, me remind man. everybody. Let me I'll tell them about whatever. I warned you about Shreveport. Louisiana, remember the funny bone? Oh yeah. I go, Bobby, nobody does well here. And you're like, what? Are you sure? Yeah. And and I go, oh, Steve Trevino's working there this week. Yeah. He's probably crushing it. Yeah. And then we go to do a taping there. <laughs> yeah. I don't. We do surprised. Well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we surprised. Yeah. Him. And we did perform. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it still wasn't good. Oh my god. And then we asked Terrible. him about his show, and and Steve's one of those dudes that he'll he's always he freely tell you, I kill here, I kill there. You know how yeah. Steve is. He was like, dude, bro, I'm struggling. It's a my tough hot room, yeah. Shreveport, Louisiana. the Funny Bone in Shreveport, Louisiana. It's one of I'd the never worst been rooms there. in America. Never been I booked there. I did it. I did a week there and never went. Never right. again. Never again. No, no way, man. So what? What are your handles? So Johnny, what are you on? Johnny Sanchez, comic. <laughs> Johnny Sanchez, comic. Jesus. On Instagram and <laughs> yeah. Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter. And and, and uh yeah. yeah. Honestly, if you ever see if you ever we're not we have to do it last we're not done yet, but oh, okay. I just don't want to forget that um this guy is a very good dear friend of mine and I think that you doing a podcast with Ruben is a great idea. Have you guys put some out yet? Yeah, we're on What's a the podcast called? The best of everything. The best of everything with That's Johnny Sanchez. Yeah. That's a and, great name. And Ruben Paul, yeah. And Ruben Paul. I he love came him up too. With the name. I wanted to do the pod couple. Oh, oh that's, that's cute, cute too. That's yeah. cute too. He, yeah, wanted... you're good with a little wordplay, huh? Uh, I love wordplay and puns. Do. I love you love puns. Yeah. Yeah. This is why this is why you should say I'm the leader. Like whenever you post things, you go remember everybody. I'm the leader. It should be L E E. Oh. It's your own. It's so funny because when you said that earlier in the show, I still didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. I just got it now. Your I, last, no, I just got oh, it. How did you guys not now? get that? I thought yeah. you were trying to do the Asian accent. I don't know what it was, but um, yeah, oh, I get I'm it. The le- I, I, leader. <laughs> leader. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. What but anyway, what it's called friend. the best of everything. Okay, the best of everything. <laughs> um, and uh, what were we talking about a second ago, though, before that? Um, Oh, yeah, but I want, but see, a lot of people don't know either, too. So, this is how much you've been very kind. So, I got to tell everybody uh, yeah, about ahead. that situation that happened with, with Mad TV. This is one of those things where Bobby went out of his way. Like, you didn't have to, you could have just threw my name out. Bobby could have just thrown my name out. Like, yeah, try to find, just call his eight, call Johnny Sanchez and have them come in. This guy went to bat, and little did I know at the time that he had gone to bat for me for five seasons before that. And then he calls me, which I always think thought was funny because I was only being hip pocketed by my agent at that time. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just hip pocketed. They didn't want to bring me in, right. but there's he's sending me out for auditions. Mm-hmm. No APA. APA. Oh. So uh, Bobby goes, "Hey man, they're really looking. They really want a, a, a Latino. Do they want to bring some Latin flavor?" And I go, "Okay, right." But remember, do you remember the the instructions though? Bobby's like, but you have to bring in, I know you have characters, you have to bring in 
some impressions. And immediately, again, that thing about me yeah. where I cut off, right? Mm-hmm. I go, oh, man, fuck that. Yeah. Bobby's all, you know, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Come on. I go, Bobby, I don't do impressions. He's like, dude, you got to come up with somebody because they want a minimum of three characters and a minimum of two impressions or three. It was like three and three or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, fuck, man. So... He Bobby planted the seed and he's like, I'm telling I'm telling you, you can do it, you can do it. Just think of somebody, think of people, think of whoever. And you had mentioned some of the lat- Latino stars, like Paul, these guys like, oh yeah, I never I'm because I'm thinking I have to do the president. Or I Joan to, Rivers or something. Or yeah, 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 exactly. Those broad ones, yeah. So he planted that seed and I was like, um, and Bobby's like, You gotta do this. I was already I, I was already like, no. Fuck this. And I had gone out for Mad six seasons in a row right. and yeah. never even got a call back. So I hadn't been back to them for five, something yeah. like that. You were like, yeah, you were very uh, skeptical. I was super skeptical. I was like, they're not yeah. going to buy into me, Bobby. You know, but Negative. This was, but this was different because Bobby's putting my name in there. I'm coming into producers. It was, you know what I mean? It was like straight into the producers. It wasn't, oh, no, it was What's Her Name First, the casting director at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who um, was it? Uh, um, yeah. she ended up being becoming a manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nicole. Nicole. Yes. Garcia. So I start thinking about it. It's funny. The reason why is because of her T-shirt. So I think about. I come up with this bit. I already had the little Joker character, right. so I knew I was going to do little Joker. Right. So then, little Joker's a character. Does and if you ever want to see yeah. it, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's yeah. So funny. And then I had my Middle Eastern Farheed guy. Right. Okay. <laughs> So I had a couple of those, and I had some like white dudes, like surfer guy, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But Bobby had planted that in my head. I was like, I've got to come on. And I don't even know where or how this came up with me, but I thought I remember the word Star Truck popped in my head. Right. And then I was like, Oh, yeah, they're on a taco truck converted into a spaceship. It's the Star <laughs> Truck. It's the Star <laughs> Truck Enterprise. Right. And I spelled it T R U K, no C, so yeah. it looked like yeah, yeah, I had truck. That's that funny, one, right? Yeah. And I put Mencia, Paul Rodriguez, George Lopez, and Cheech Marin in uh, the capsule. Wow, that's how you did it. Yeah, and that's literally like um, David Salzman's like, well, I, you pretty much had me with Little Joker. Yeah. He goes, but then you broke out the Star Truck, and you bounced <laughs> back and forth. With each impression, yeah, and he's like, we were Rock so, room. we were done, we wow. were so, you know, oh, wow. what I mean? even though they brought me back a second time, yeah. I remember Nicole goes, they love you, just go do what you did before. But I got to tell you, that's so kind because Bobby could have just said, call Johnny Sanchez's rep and have him come in to see Nicole, but you, he really pushed, man. But you know, and, you know, it's it's you know, there's two ways to do favors or whatever. It's like one way is like I gotta help this guy that. that I don't know if you have the skill level or the ability, but he wants me to help. Or you know it, it's he belongs there, and you know that he has all the skill sets to do a sketch show, which he had. So it's not one of those things where I'm going, I, I knew from the deepest portions of my heart that this dude could deliver on every aspect of what they needed. You know, So you know, it was a sh- easy. It was a shoe win but he you know if you're listening right now he just look him up i've always wanted to help this guy this guy's so funny and talented he's the nicest guy he's a good friend of mine and um we do this thing at the end it's called unhelpful advice <laughs> do you have one yeah we have one can we go back to michael clark duncan <laughs> Who? michael clark duncan what when did the we voice talk that about? he does no <laughs> wait you do michael clark duncan I actually yeah. did it at my Mad audition. That was the one thing that killed. Oh, you auditioned for the new <laughs> log yeah, did. I, yeah. yeah, the new one. Oh, yeah. If they should have just done that on Saturday night. It would have been. It would have been a shoe in, dude. What do you mean? If they would have just done that at eleven o'clock on Saturday night, even if it was on a different on CW. Yeah, I know. There you go. Boom. I know. I know. They should have done it as a Netflix show, though. Or that, oh. or that. They should have done or it that. because, yeah. What, what, yeah, yeah. Number one, mm-hmm. they wouldn't be able to pull it off like production wise because of the amount of money. Uh-huh. And then also, secondly, um, yeah, you don't have you can you don't have to like abide by network like notes. You know, mm-hmm. dude, it can be edgier. And I'm not. I only did one guest star spot on um, uh, Brian Regan's stand up in a way. So we were there shooting. We're talking to him, and he says. He's just like, they don't come around. 
He goes, we haven't seen anybody. Wow. From that, like, he had already been shooting a few weeks. Wow. And, like, they don't come around, man. No notes. No, no suits standing around. Want- Incredible. Yeah. yeah. That's so, where you want to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. If he had done it, that would have been great, man. Netflix. But, uh, so let me hear Michael Clark. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Sake no, no. Of it, now you have to. I'll, I'll do. I'll do what. Okay. And what? And did you oh, put him in a situation? No, 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 Johnny. Let's just see. Look, I want to hear. I'm going to tell you something. Oh, this dude, right? For the last two, three years, three years. Doing, three years, we've been doing this podcast. Oh, three years now. Yeah, he does a thing where he introduces the <laughs> this portion of the show, and he does his deep Michael Clark Duncan voice, which is great, and people love it. But I wanted him to do a different voice mm-hmm. because I'm just tired of hearing it. Yeah. And now he's done it twice and he doesn't want to do it the way I want to do it. So I love to go it. back. So which one you want to do? I'll start off with you. Let's do one more year of Michael Clark Duncan, I guess. <laughs> one more year. So next year, you don't have to change it. Okay. So go ahead. On Health Advice with Bobby, Kalila, and Johnny the Cricket Sanchez. <laughs> hey guys, love you all. I'm a 30-year-old girl, and I have a boyfriend, and we have two kids. I've been waiting to get a tattoo on my arm, eventually a sleeve, but worried about what my parents will say. I have five tattoos, but they are in places where it's not visible unless I'm wearing a bikini. I don't know why I'm still worried or I feel like I'm going to get in trouble with them, even though I don't live with them anymore. My question is, how do I get over not caring about what my parents think? Tanisha. I don't know because I don't, I've never had that. Mm Mm-hmm. Like my parents, I don't. My parents have never. They've said, "If you get tattoo, you no longer my son." <laughs> they've had those conversations. Mm-hmm. If you gay, you know, don't ever call me. <laughs> those kind of things. Those crazy broad, you know, threats. And I'd be like, "No, you're gonna be my dad." Yeah. These are just words because yeah. you love me. Just do it. Just do it. They're not going to not love you. They're not going to not They've love loved you. you for 30 years. They're not yeah. going to back out now because of some ink on your skin. Yeah, like Johnny the, loves the, white chicks. Oh. And his parents probably were like, hey, you know, why you did that? You know? Dude, have you seen that meme, why Mexican dudes like white girls? No. With the, It's got a white girl's arm with freckles. And right next to it is a, a huge burrito with the same spotting <laughs> on the tortilla. <laughs> The tortilla has the that same so spot. Funny. It's white with so brown so freckles. Funny. Dude, it Re- is one so of, I died when I saw it. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. There's a meme like that? There's I had to see meme. it. Yeah, it's great. So I got to look it up. Gotta meme look it up. with what? Well, how do uh, I Google it? Uh, it meme. Well, um, it's why why Mexican guys like white girls or meme with. Meme. Um, white girls and burrito. White or girls. Or tortilla. White girls. Yeah. it's Because it's the tortilla, but yeah. it is a burrito, so it looks like her arm. Burrito. Okay. See if I can find it. There. Here. Let me see. <laughs> this is why Mexican guys. Like, what? <laughs> That's so true. Dude. Oh my God, that is so you know, true. How, you know how much I like, fre- the more freckles, the better. Yeah, you have this weird thing with white chicks. And then the, 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 the red why heads is that, the, what, why, why that is that? pale. Why? Oh, I Wh- can't why? take it. You've never dated a Latin girl. I've never seen you with one. I had one, my very first one in eighth grade for a year. And, and what I, was it? She was, just, you know, she was hot, but like I felt like there was a, there was a little bit of a cultural break because her family was a little more like her brothers and stuff, and we're like, what, hey, what you gonna do, hey? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was like a w- difference in the in the families, and yeah. plus she was very punchy. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, like right, right, she'd right. get mad, she'd start hitting and punching. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh. And then I had a got a white girlfriend like my freshman. Year, I was like, oh, this is all right. Whoa, this, this is working. heavy. Yeah, the but American man. Dream. Freck, how about that Alex Morgan on the soccer team for what do the you U.S.? What, what, you what, is, what do you mean? Oh my god, she's from here too, like Diamond Bar, right? Oh, she's California. Yeah, she's yeah. California. Yeah, man. Oh, so what? You, what you're telling me right now is if Alex Morgan. Just called you out of the blue after winning the World Cup. After winning the World Cup, <laughs> she's got to call Johnny Sanchez. Hi, hey, um, hi, hey, hey. hey, Johnny. I was listening to Tiger Belly. Yeah, and, and you said that maybe. That but what if she's like, you're not going to believe this? I've had this weird fascination with insects for years, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm totally right. turned on by crickets. <laughs> right? Yeah. Can you wear this top hat? <laughs> right. So, what, what was that? What's that cricket? What's that? Jiminy cricket. Jiminy cricket. Oh, Jiminy cricket. Jiminy. With the little monocle. Did he wear a monocle? 
Jiminy Cricket? He might I think he have. did. I yeah. think he did. Damn, I always thought, I just always called that the glass, one glass. I got <laughs> I never called it that. I have never ever called it that. You go, hey, that Monopoly guy is wearing one glass. That was, yeah, the Monopoly the, guy with the one glass. The, monocle, well, what do you the call, Monopoly guy doesn't have a, a monocle. What do you call a magnifying glass? Yeah, yeah didn't he? No, it's it, the planner. The, the, you know what's so funny? Now oh, we're getting into shit. what's it called? Mandela. The Mandela effect. effect. Have you heard of the Mandela effect? I don't think Jim After Mass. Had... Uh, um, Nelson Mandela. Nelson? But have you heard of the Jim Mandela effect? Jim huh. So this is I mean, the, I've heard then. Ask him a couple. I, I'll, I'll ask, tell you what a Mandela effect oh. is. He didn't have one. I know. So it's a, it's a, it's a, oh. it's a theory. Huh? Mr. Peanuts was worth thinking about. It's a yeah, theory I mean, where, um, um, our realities have shifted, right? So things that were true like twenty or thirty years later are not true now. Like I'll give you an example. Give me an example. How do you spell Fruit Loops? Um, are you really asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. F R U I T. Yeah. L O O. P.S. Yeah, that's you 100% believe that that's what it's spelled. Yeah. It's not. It's not. So basically what the theory is, is that we knew it. It used to be Fruit Loops, but there was this cosmic, like a, a shift. And now it's called, it's different. Stupid. The way you spell Fruit Loops yeah. is F-R-O-O-T Loops. You guys just really want to complicate life. <gasps> Shit, wait like a, a minute though. There's a simple explanation. But wait a minute, but it, it? might have oh. been, it might have, wait, they just changed it later? No, it's like you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it, when you learn something, when you commit something to memory, like the correct spelling of fruit, you're oh. going to self-correct it when you're It might have been spelled like that that whole time. What? It is F-R-O-O-T. The, the whole time? The whole time. Yeah, but you just self-correct. We self-corrected it. It could. That's a theory. But there's no cosmic or there was a shift. shift. Oh, oh, like okay. The, the shift. shift. Right. In the, like oh, loss. I why see. You, but, why, that's the problem with people. I think even if there's a very simple answer in front of them, yeah. it's like they want... Their lives are so fucking meaningless that they would rather blame it on a cosmic shift than say, hey, you know what? Common sense. Fruit is about spelled F R U T. That is so. I, what did Forrest Gump say? Life is like a box of chocolate. Again. Or I just listen, get out of I here. Know. I hate this fucking shit. I, I don't know. Well, just let me finish it. Well, we can edit it out. If we, no, no, yeah. no. It's just or, it or, enrages or, or, or is it life was like a box of chocolates? Life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah. Or is it life, life like, was li- life, life was like, like a, box, a of, box of chocolates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collective misremembering. What That's is what it's life called? Was, yes. yes. Oh well, he's saying that his uh, mom told him that. Right. So what I hear and what I thought was him saying, li- like my mama always said. Life is is yeah. like a box of chocolate, right. not was. Yeah. See, that's a perfect not explanation over. because you're you're seeing it from the point of him quoting his mother Correct. rather than remembering it something she said in the past. But it, it's not that. It's life was. Yeah, okay. He never says it is. Yeah, all right. Now, can I go There's check? There's a little shifts. That's all. Can I go check this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you can Google it. It's always, he'll if you go for a scum, it'll say life was like. It's, but on some it, boxes, it still says is. It's intriguing how the human brain Why don't works, you but just, it's not some weird fucking like, thing that he's yeah, making it out to be. Yeah, because I right now, I don't know if I'm talking to you or Sam Tripoli. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Okay, so let me ask Let me ask you this. So, um, I love Sam. Oh, I love Sam. Oh, lo- we love How long have we... That Sam's another best. one. The best. <laughs> the best. Yeah. So, um, going... All right. Why don't you tweet that out? To Tom Hanks. And he'll tell you what he said. See, this is the other thing. Or you could just watch the movie, you fuck. Yeah, but some people phonetically, you know those things. What was that thing? What do you hear? Yeah. yeah. Do you hear this or that? Remember oh, just yeah. recently? Oh, yeah. The Laurel, Laurel and something like Laurel that. Laurel or Laurel? Laura. No, no. It no. Was it, was, no. it was Laurel and Yanni. Yanni. Yeah. Right? right? And I kept, I heard Laurel all the time. Yeah. So you can't go off of watching the movie because some people are going to hear was and some people are going to hear is. You tweet it out to Tom Hanks. And you say, what was in the script? How was it written? And what did you say? And th- that's the end. There's no, the, the earth's not going to just move. You know what but I mean? But what if he collect, he misremembers too? We should all tweet, have our fans tweet Tom Hanks. <laughs> yes. And then hashtag Did Tiger you Bell. say life is like a box of, or was? That's I mean, it. It's that simple. And then he'll go, I actually have still, you think he doesn't have the script? 
Does curious? He still has the script. Does curious George have a tail or no tail? He has a tail. He has no tail. He yeah. has a oh. tail because yeah. he yeah. hangs that, from the tree. The he has no correct, tail. That's the correct picture. No. Well, then here's what's happening. You know they also change <laughs> animated characters through the They've years. Ne- he's never had a tail. Didn't grow up on Curious George. I don't give a shit. He does never have a tail. So over this. So we're I go over, look, we're over. I know, baby. I'm just saying. I can. So I go looking but back. Look, on go some, look at some. Just look up Mandela effect and look at all the examples. It's really interesting. Okay. It, no, I find this interesting. Guy, all right. All we right, got to okay. wrap up, baby. Because uh, um, we have, we have to go. We have to do it. We have all right. We're good. All right. So how long are we at? Uh, we almost hit two hours. Oh, <laughs> we got to cut out the record. It's a record. What? For us. I don't need to be. I didn't need to do two hours. I wanted you to do two hours. Okay. So give Johnny Sanchez a round of applause. He was fucking great. Thank Thanks for having me. By the way, here's why I didn't want to do two hours. We're done. Because then I We're won't done. hear We're from done. you for We're two done. years. We'll it be... took me two years to get on here. <laughs> we'll be right back with some housekeeping. What an episode. Boy, those were some crazy stories there. Who said that? Uh, George, I wrote that. George wrote that for me to say. Before it even happened. Thanks again to our wonderful <laughs> sponsors, Ridge Wallet, Postmates, Hems, and Goat. Yes, get your ticket to the good times and your space wallet at ridge.com slash slept and use the promo code SLEPT for 10% off your front carry wallet. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Whatever you want, make sure you stop by um, Jersey Mike's and then get your light bulb. Download Postmates and save with the promo code BELLY and get your trial month of Hems for just $5 right now for at fourhams.com slash belly, a service to help all samurais. Find the perfect 100% authentic sneaker at goat.com slash belly. And if you want more Tiger Belly in your life and you want to hear our voices, get premium audio episodes every week only at patreon.com slash Tiger Belly. If you want you know, a bad advice uh, for we have a new different. email Mine for unhelpful question. advice. It's, it's advice uh, unhelpful at gmail.com. Better it's persuasion. advice better unhelpful books. at gmail.com. Is this mic even on? Guys, nope. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, make sure you follow uh, Bobby and all his tour dates at BobbyLeeLive.com or just follow him on Instagram for all his shenanigans at Bobby Lee Live. And you can follow Kalila at Clam DK. Follow us at Tiger Belly on Instagram, uh, at the Tiger Belly uh, on Twitter. And that's it. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye.